Hello, everybody out there on YouTube. Hopefully, everybody has seen the huge announcement on Diamond Art Club's website. Scratch and sniff uh, Diamond Art Club patterns. The uh, drills are scented and fragrant so that you can have the experience that matches the painting that you're doing. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. And by the way, it's one of the best April Fool's jokes I've ever seen. I, was just yeah. I can't believe somebody would actually believe that. <laughs> somebody will for a second. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's scratch and stuff. It's like, yeah, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. But that's okay because because Cindy said I gotta go over there and check it out. That's it. See? That was before you said the script. Yeah, she was just gonna go check out the big announcement. Yeah. Just like the viral thing running around that CBS is gonna give Jay Leno a billion dollar nighttime deal. It's a meme running around Facebook for the last couple of weeks. It's sort of a stupid thing. I mean, Jay, Jay, Jay's so old and so rich, he's like, I don't need to do that again. No. You figure it took him 10 years to, to build that team, to ride it for the bunch of years that he did. To do that again at his age, he'll be 90 before it starts getting good again. And his wife has got dementia and stuff like that, so he's taking care of her now. Jay Leno's wife, Mabel or Marlene or whatever her name is. I can still remember seeing you on Johnny Carson. You bet. I remember my dad used to watch Johnny Carson in the hotel room when we go on family trips and stuff like that. I'd be watching him as I was falling asleep. I always loved his animals. Got the wild yeah, he had that jack guy on there. Okay, so what happens right now is just so you know, guys, where our business is, not that it really matters to anybody, but just as a point of reference, we have averaged 138 pens a month for the last three months. Yeah, that's what I say. Wow. We just, <laughs> whoo, man alive. Man alive. Yeah, that's what I said. Wow. So now I just sort of catch up over the weekend and clean up some stuff. And I got to clean pens. And so we'll do some general maintenance kind of stuff. Probably not very interesting, but good whip and chat kind of stuff because there's not a lot of watching going on. Stacy, Billy, and Jen. Hello, hello. Okay, in about two hours, I get to go elsewhere, but I will be back. Yeah, one o'clock. I one o'clock my time, which is about two hours. I got to take Kevin to work, so we'll be off for a short bit. Then we'll be back for some more goodies. Probably do some actual turning then. Yeah, whatever. Sometimes real life gets in the way of this stuff, you know. <laughs> Let's see. We got Stacy Intersagen in the world there. Stacy, where are you from? Because that's a very, I don't know, Scandinavian, German, Dutch. I'm not sure what kind of name that is, but uh, looks like it's got that kind of root to it. Where are you from? We're glad you're here. This time of day, we'll probably pick up some of our Euro European friends. That could be. Yeah. I mean, right now, it's probably about, what, five in the afternoon? Well, no. The, when do they do to that Central Daylight, Central European Daylight Time thing? Did they just switch? The, they just switched. Oh, okay. Last night. So, Germany, I think, is now six hours ahead of me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
looks like me and me is six hours ahead. Oh, here we go. Married into, and it's German. There you go. Yeah, I got a bunch of German clients, so I'm over there once in a while seeing them. Where are you I'm from, Stacy? Or where are you from, Stacy Intersagen? So there's our two Stacys. Hardy and Intersagen are both here. Nice. You guys should start a club. So this is just a cleanup from the mad dash over the weekend. It does get a little out of control, you know. And there's Cassie. Hello, Cassie. Hello, Cassie. Hello. Hi, Cassie. Hello. The only thing is, when Cassie came in, it reminded me I was slipping my duties here. Slipping your duties. Yes. Oh, you mean setting up the table and stuff? Yeah. I set up. The, I I finally set up the table, but what I forgot to do was um, put the Discord link. Well, not put the link. Oh, Gary, that's a write-up. <laughs> that's a write-up. That's why. We were in the ho we were in the hospital. She had a clinic. She had a radiology appointment, so we went over there. And as soon as we were sitting down, I saw these two chairs. I mean, the whole place is completely empty. There's one guy in there. There must be 25 different places you could sit. And there's two chairs with his sign, reserved for volunteers. I'm like, there's Lee's throne. Yep. <laughs> I, so I, so I took a picture. I took a picture. Carrie says, "What are you gonna do?" I said, "I'm gonna put it in a group. Lee's got to see this." Yeah, I put the charging station in there too. They actually they anchored that charging station to the wall. Who's gonna carry it? Do they have a problem with people stealing charging stations? Jeez. I've seen it happen. I well, you know, the reason it's chained up is because it did happen. <laughs> Somebody did it. Rearranging my stir sticks here. And let's see. She has an update. Breaking news. See, I'm restocking my stir sticks here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Oh, yeah. Well, it's morning here, so. Um, Close enough. Good it's morning. on April 1st. It's twenty two here. Yep. Yeah, see, so good morning for me. So anyway. Um oh Indiana. Stacy's from Indiana. Oh. Welcome, Stacy. I don't think we've had anybody from Indiana. No, I think so. So uh, Debbie, I don't know if you were able to get your finger hold or send me. I don't know if you were sending me a picture or what, but um I sort of need to, I think you had a Diamond Art Club pen. I just need to, I think you sent it to me, but just remind me um, if you sent your finger hold in because I have the four blanks you have claimed on the Leopard Live. And so I have to invoice that. And I'm just letting you know. We don't know how big your fingers are. We need to have that in order to make it comfortable for you. It's we a fetish of ours. We got to know your finger size. We don't want to give you a chubby pen if you don't want a chubby pen. And we don't want to give you a super thin pen if you want a medium that pen. That would be the whole thing, Karen. Yep. You bet. Yep. Okay. That's why, so that's why we have this finger fetish. That's right. We have a finger fetish. The other announcement is I for Cine, crap up, the life. dragon spit is arriving today. So, yeah, yeah. so that's the second part of that. And then we can get in the line for making the... I guess the mold, and I think everyone wants to see that online because I got another order for the dragon spit pen last night. Cindy, you're a freaking genius. So we did a great job, Cindy. We got it moving. Great. Uh, yeah. So very cool. Um, I think I only have like three trays, but that's cool. That's totally fine. That was a side 
gig. And then I'm going to write a custom listing for you. And I'll let you, I'll message you when I have it up. Um, for your skull. For your skull. <laughs> Yeah, I told my son about it. He says he has one already, and he'd love another one. There you go. <laughs> you got, I don't know what the one he has is made of, but he does have a skull. He loves some things. And, hey, there's a lot of people do. That's I why like we bought it. I like my skull. Yes. Yeah, and we can see it, too. And so, yes. Right. So, I will, I know you told me about the skull, and I asked him, what's she talking about? And he <laughs> showed me what it was. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't know you did that. Um <laughs> Must not yeah, I buy these little, I see these cute little things on Let's Resin, and it's like, you want to add this to your cart for $2.95? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they get you every time. I'm they? telling you, I'm and, a sucker for stuff I can make things with. And then I'm also getting some resin powder. It's a sample pack, but it's all neon colors. So I thought oh. I thought that would be really kind of fun to what play with. Neon color yeah. sample pack. Oh, cool. So that's coming along with for some what, for what pigments or I mean uh, mica yeah. powders. Mm -hmm. nice. I said mica powder. I anyway, I know you're not listening. You're not paying attention. And then another another type of pink. And then I also last night they said it's almost the Easter sale is almost over. So I can't resist the sale. And so I got some um it one of the colors was Egyptian pink, and it's almost like the 14 karat gold where it's more flaky. So um I got a whole bunch of colors in pastels for that. So they because they were pushing their pastels for Easter eggs, I guess. So I yeah. grabbed that and it's an ocean blue because um as Shay mentioned on her live about the beach diamond paint along and the beach comber bounty, these that color and two other colors I have will look really cool with um, adding that for the beach comber pen that we're going to probably do when we all do that canvas, whoever wants a beach pen. So I have some really cool ideas. So that's a skunk work project with Shay. So um, that's so skunk works now. Everybody knows about it. Yep. Yeah, well, they don't know what I'm going to do. Even There's more. You're going to do something. Well, there you go. What their whistle? What's in it? What's in it? What colors? I'm not when gonna you tell you. The aliens, nobody can know. Okay. <laughs> so it'll be pretty. I think it'll be. Cindy will want one. I'm just telling you, she will want one. <laughs> after <laughs> after seeing your room, you will want one. So <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, she's gonna want one. That's all I kept thinking when we were chatting. Shay and I were chatting about ideas. I'm like, oh, okay, I know who's gonna want one of these. <laughs> did you ever give Cindy, did you ever give Tim your finger hold or did you send it to me? Uh actually I never did either. The pin you sent me, I just I is fine. So whatever you it was on this pin you sent me, I don't know if you wrote it down. No, I did not. Tim just okay. turned it, so I don't know. And he doesn't remember. Yeah. yeah. yeah it was, you know, all I wanted was smaller than the one I was using and I told you that one. You pick this one, and it's fine. So I will take a picture and send you another. Picture. Well, I so I don't better, need a picture. The better part is to do a measurement. You need to go to the YouTube channel under videos, and you'll see um, finger hold measurement. It's the one that Lee talks about all the time for yeah, us. Yeah. Just watch that video and give me that measurement if you want to like mark one end of the washi tape and the other end, and take a ruler and just show us. And you're not sure what the measurement is, you can take a picture of that measurement tape. Okay. Where it starts okay. and ends. And then I can do it yeah. from there. And then when we turn the pen, then we can kind of determine size and and style and all that stuff. Once well, I know what I know what style I want. Okay, well, well just wait till we do get the pens made and the blanks done, and that's when we start talking that. Because I can't yeah. write anything down until then. So that's yeah. when yeah. we uh, well, I I thought about it. I think it would be perfect because most of the blank is going to be clear. It's going to be a see-through with the little stuff in. It. Yeah. So that's why I want it. Yeah. I want to certain less. Yeah, it's going to be clear. It sounds like not a lot of turning. Yeah. So it's going to be. No, but you know, there, I do know there won't be. I want the baseball ends and two or three skews, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. You want three it. inch, four and a quarter? How late? How small are you wanting to go? Oh my! The whole pen. Four inch. Four inch. Okay. 
just so I can write that down on the, I took, I wrote down everyone that was getting one. So I knew how to make at the so I'll just have it down, but I didn't have anything down for you for length or finger hold. But just get me that finger hold. Plenty of time. We're not rushing yet, so don't <laughs> want to do it now unless you want to. But I just want to kind of. No, I'll wait until after. I'll wait until after this is over before I do that. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. Leave. Yeah, why, why put, put off to to tomorrow? What you can do today, right? Or, or Instagram or what? What's that? How do you want me to send it to you? Email Facebook, but Instagram? Facebook Messenger. Facebook Messenger. Okay. Yep. And if you want to send a photo along with it, that's totally fine. However you want to send Some people say, here's my measurement. I don't know what I'm supposed to write down, but this is what I got. And then Tim looks yeah. at it and he tells me, because math is hard, and um, he tells me what to write down. Okay. All right. To go <laughs> now, okay. to go way back to when, when we were talking about the charging stations, Shell made, made the comment with the frequency, the frequency that my kids, that my kids st steals my charges. It wouldn't surprise me that they did have problems with people taking them. Uh, yeah, but that's, my, a, that's a huge, huge stand. It's almost as tall as me. It's up to my shoulders, and I'm five, four and a half. Mike with dancing, uh, Mike, uh, aka dances with Advark, says good morning and afternoon, everyone. Yes, highly, and then still Mike. Uh, Denise says, my brother inherited a real skeleton head with facial structures. And then Jennifer Maloney said, hello. Hello, Jennifer. I think hello, that's Mr. it for now. <laughs> I think I need a new skeleton head. And I, Come in. I did. And I did see your message, Lee. I did take a breath. I was chatting with Cindy. So, yeah, there was a quick breath, but there was a breath. Believe me, I just that's what I had done today at CT scan of my lungs. So I was breathing. Her lungs are working. That's good. Man, I made such a mess. No wonder I covered that thing up with the white thing. I will be here, but I'm not going to be in voice, so. Oh, no. Where are you going? Uh, you we, got, pudding? we got a visitor. Ah, how fun. IRS there to take all your stuff away, huh? No, nurse, nurse to draw blood from my brother. <laughs> okay, so we're. We're sort of cleaned up here. I got to get a new mat for this thing here because I think I'm going to get a big glass, a sheet of glass, put it down here, and that way I don't have to pick all that stuff off. Okay, there's the white one there. All right, so we're getting almost organized here. So, a couple things we want to do to get rolling is I need to clean. So, Dances with Aardvarks ordered a set of tips, but they don't specify the size of hole you need. You know what, uh, Dances with Aardvarks, it's essentially all the tips are the same. It's about a 730 seconds hole. Um, nobody says that. I just figured it out. And all of the tips are made to sort of go with that standard. The only one that's not to that standard are the screw-in tips, which is a totally different hole. And um, you'll have to do something different for that. And we're working on a solution for the screw-in tips, but they're not very popular yet, and they're not very widespread yet. So nobody's really worried about them or doing much about them. So 730 seconds is the drill bit I use to make the holes. 730 seconds. Let's see. Now, now we come to the long and boring part. So what I have to do is bring an order over. Boy, these things aren't going to last long. They're already busted out the bottom. They look cool, but they're cheap. I guess they're only meant for, for uh, paper. 
So what I do is I, this one's already cleaned out, yeah. So what I do is I just run these through the drill again, just to clean out all the buffing compound, any uh, grinding stuff. So I'll be over here at the drill bit off the screen a little bit. And I literally just run the drill bit in and out of the hole real quickly. And it takes anything out of that hole that isn't 730 seconds. Okay, those are cleaned out. And then I get my little box of Mickey and Minnie Mouse Q-tips. Bring my acetone a little closer. And we just clean out the holes. Here, I'm not sure these little plastic things are going to last. We probably bought the cheapest version of them. Because this one here is already cracked at the bottom. They may not be made for stuffing stuff in them. I mean, we bought the cheapest ones we could find, so we get what we pay for. Always. See, they're all coming out already. See that, babes? See this? I, I don't think they're made for anything but paper and somebody putting a set of keys at the top or something. We'll, we'll get better ones, but this is a start. All right. And then I just keep going through here, grabbing pens and cleaning them up. Is this already clear? Where do you do this? Why has I got a tip in it? Because it's, it's somebody's pen. It's somebody's pen. These are these are people's pens. Yeah, I, I made them. Why are you? I'm cleaning them out. Oh, yeah. So you the question is why? What's that? Oh, I put a tip in for the video. The video that you edit. There you go. Okay. Trying to figure out why that one had a tip in it. Hey, dances with Aardvark. Did you say you were in the UK? Yeah, this is the super, super boring and menial task that I do, but it ensures that you get a nice clean pen when you receive your pen. Yeah. What camera are you on, Tim? I'm on the desk cam. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure because Mike was saying you're on the buffer. Nope, I was actually on the uh, drill press. Drilling, drilling out the tips. I'm not actually making pens right now, Lee. I am cleaning pens. Yeah, you know, but I go over to the drill press to run the uh, drill bit down into the end of the pen to clean out the hole. And what it's cleaning out is it's cleaning out all the buffing compound and the polishing compound that gets on there when I'm over there buffing and polishing. Yep. Okay, as long as I got it straight, I'm going to go back to mute now. Yep. Enjoy the doctor. The nurse. So I'll be at the desk and then I'll be away from the desk. I'll be at the desk, away from the desk for probably the next 10, 15 minutes. As we go through all the pens we created. So are you going to be wearing goggles? No, they're not mine. I actually stole that image from a leather crafting group I'm in. Somebody made their somebody made their own um, 
eclipse goggles. Pretty, pretty cool, actually. I mean, if you look at them. I mean, it's a one time in 20 use, so there's not a lot of market for it. So it definitely is a stealth project. Yeah. It's like, look what I can do. And they're probably just a pair of goggle pattern that you make from my motorcycle ride or whatever. They just happen to put those little tips in there to look at the sun. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of cold here today. It rained last night and this morning. Yeah, it's still last I knew it was still raining here. Oh, it's changed. Oh, I gotta learn to put shoes on. Uh, <laughs> my table I use has a shelf, so if I have to make a little tub with one right next to it, and I just hit a little towel. Oh, yeah, it hurt. Especially if your feet are cold. Yes. And mine are freezing. They're always freezing. They're going to hurt even more. Yeah, it's still raining a little bit here. I can see in the puddle at the end of the It's not warm, but it, it's still there. Probably slow, Leo. Most of the Uh, it's been out since we moved up here and it's been miserable so i've you know, got to get it fixed what do you got to get fixed i missed it uh, my air conditioning on my car oh my goodness yeah maybe you're just missing a belt or something no it's yeah, the freon's gone oh that means you probably have a leak somewhere Possibly, yes, they're going to check it, uh, but I'm getting an evac and refill. There you go. So That'll take care of it. I hope so, as long as it's not leaking yet. <laughs> so maybe your Freon just got wore out or something? No, the car's not really that old. It's only, it's only 2,000 pounds. It's, it, it was the first new vehicle I ever had. Nine, and from what we understood, there was new fluid in it, freon in it. So well, there should be when it's new, that's for sure. Yeah. But it does wear out after a while or leaks out one or the other. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll, check, they'll check that too. But so. I just hope it's not raining Wednesday morning because that's when I can get them. <laughs> I already got it. Yes, this is the least exciting thing I do in the shop, but it is a necessary evil. Yep. For, for sure. It's like doing paperwork. At least I could sit down doing that. I'm walking back and forth and up and down and left and right. 
But hey, you know, it's all part of it. The suns are clearing, or the clouds are clearing. I already did that one. I need a different bucket for when I clean them. I'm going to use this right here for temporarily. Can't keep them straight. I just re cleaned the same one twice. Yeah, that one's going to be clean for sure. I just need another bucket, that's all. That way I can transfer them as I clean them. More optimization of the process. Yeah. Reduces wasted labor, you know. If I already did it once, I don't want to do it again. So this Berta envelope carry has one completed pen and four other blanks that aren't completed. We're going to send this one to her and she's going to test out both ends because they're slightly different. And then she's going to tell us which one she likes. And that's the one we're going to do the other four blanks in. How many one pens does she need? <laughs> Just one at a time. <laughs> Just one at a time. He's so cute. I only have one pen. Just the one. Ah, there's the pen. Oh, the screamer. Man, that thing is so gorgeous. That thing is so gorgeous. Funny how that one came out. With artwork already installed. Let's see, I asked. Dance with Aardvarks if he was in the UK. He's in the UK. So, uh, Dances with Aardvarks, have you heard of Diamond Painting Fanatics? That'll be the first question. And Diamond Painting Shop UK. We'll just start with Diamond Painting Fanatics. Too many questions. I don't ever know the answer. <laughs> Elizabeth is DPing and watching, whipping and watching. Love it. I am Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa is a new name. I have a decision to make. Need help. Should I just sit and watch the live or should I DP and watch the live? Oh, that's what Elizabeth is answering. Yeah. Watch live. Just, you know, look up every once in a while when you think something is interested hanging on the uh, screen there, which is not right at this moment because I'm literally just cleaning pens. But welcome in, Vanessa. That's a new name for me. Hope you're doing well. Happy April Fool's Day. No fools here but me. So here we go. And, uh, today is my seventh year anniversary. Yeah, April Fool's Day. Congratulations. Who was that? Happy Congratulations. Happy anniversary. Excellent. So dances with aardvarks. Please visit diamondpaintingfanatics.com. Her name is Cindy. She lives sort of northeast of London. 
out in the country, beautiful area, I'm sure. And she sells diamond painting kits and grills and all that kind of stuff. Cindy Michelle, I believe, is her full name. Fabulous lady. But what they need in the UK is a good pen maker. Believe me. Um, the sad thing about here in the US, shipping to the UK is it gets very expensive. And it makes the cost of a pen a bit exorbitant and restrictive. So you could have yourself a nice little weekend business just starting out. And I bet you within a year, you're probably doing 100 pens a month or more like we are. So you need to hook into that diamond painting fanatic community. And, and I think Cassie mentioned Diamond Painting Shop UK, but I don't know how public they are as far as a community, more than just a shop, but you can figure that out. You're probably a smart person. But uh, yeah, they really, really need a supply of that into the UK. And I don't know what the shipping is over into Belgium, Denmark, Germany, that kind of thing. There's a huge underserved market there as well. Yeah, see, look at Stacy Hardy. She's addicted to, to Cindy's canvases. Yeah, she does a great job. She'll probably be live today. She's Diamond Painting Fanatics on YouTube as well. What, babe? It's not installed. It is installed. It is installed. I installed it myself. Okay, so. See more. Yeah, but I'll let you take it from there, dancing with Aardvarks. You can uh, pursue what you want to pursue. Definitely not telling you what to do, but there's an opportunity there that I can't foil. I can't participate in it because it's just too expensive to ship. Literally, everything we ship to the UK cost about an additional probably $25 or $30. Carrie would know the actual amount, but it's probably right around in that range. So all of a sudden, that makes our pens a $100 pen. And although they are $100 pens, we don't sell them for that much yet. Yeah, please. Well, I mean, the so if you look at what we do and you look at what like um, Enablers Outpost or uh, the Butterfly Effect People kind of thing, they do almost no custom work. It literally is, we're making these pens, these pens are for sale, come buy them. And they're absolutely beautiful. They're actually very nice pens. What we do a little bit differently is we do custom sizing, we do turnings, we do collaborations, just anything we can to get out there and have fun in the community. So that's the difference. So when you get a, a custom pen like this and, you know, delivered like we do, go live like we do, build the community like we do, those are $100 pens every day. But the reality is the market doesn't bear that yet. So, so everybody gets a good deal. Your pens are worth way more than we pay for them. Five. I'll take a tray. Yeah, I mean, and, but the, the reality is, is, is I know what I'm offering, and I know what it should cost, but I also am a smart business guy, and I know what the market will bear. Yeah. And right now, the market doesn't bear a hundred dollar pen. No. But. And if you think about it, and if you look at supply and demand, right? Like we have more demand than we have supply. In other words, I'm the supply. I'm the one that has to create the pen and send it out the door, right? Yep. When that happens, the price of the pen should increase because the supply is lower than the demand. That's just that's just like gas or 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 uh, what else has gone way up? This, oh, like gas, it shot up over the April, over the Easter weekend, or I'm sorry, the uh, spring break weekend, because they knew that the gas in the ground at the current stores would exhaust quickly because of the extra activity nationwide, and they can't supply it that fast because the supply chain can't react that quickly, and the price goes up 30-something cents a gallon. That's that's typical network. So I'm aware of all those things, but in the reality, 
we are building a community, we're building a business, we're building a whatever you want to call it. So maybe in two years, I get to the point where I physically can't do any more than I can do. So the price has to go up so that I can, quite frankly, slow down the demand. And there are, there are market forces effect like that, that, okay, if you can't produce it or there's not enough supply, then you have to increase the, the price to reduce the customer demand. I mean, it's just simple economics, no big deal. We're not there yet. We're still having a blast. And after we get, a you know, 2,000 pens out there in the market, the brand built well, you know, because we could destroy the business at any time just by being dumb. But uh, we don't yeah. plan to do that, but we could. And your peace and quiet is now broken with my voice. <laughs> what was that, Lee? I missed it. I was at the drill press. I just said your peace and quiet is now broken with my voice. Or what? Yep, that too. I, I now, missed what you said. Yeah, see what I mean? April Fool. I missed what you said. I didn't hear it. Okay. So he's going to leave me hanging? Yep. yep. Oh. Not sure why you do that, but okay. Because today, I'm not going to believe a lot of what's being said out there. Where? If you, if you said this tomorrow, I would go, I would have gone, gone ahead and believed what you were saying. Said what tomorrow? That too. Right, I'm I'm not following, but I guess that's okay. April Fools to you too. I wasn't pulling any April Fools jokes. No, what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and repeat it, and then he's going to go ahead and say April Fools. I doubt so, it. So, well, see, what I, I, I said, didn't know what you said. So, so what I said was your peace and quiet has now been ended because here is my voice again. Oh, well, that's not April Fool's joke. That's a reality. I'm talking about you saying that you couldn't hear it. I thought was an April Fool's joke because I know what kind of a joker you are. You're worse than me. No, I, I said I'm at the drill press. I didn't hear what you said because it was running in my earball. But that's okay. But now I know what you said, so it's no big deal. All right. Okay, so, yeah, we don't do many April Fool's jokes here because I just copy from everybody else. I don't uh -huh. have any originals. <laughs> and, by, and by the way, Mike, uh, I sent, I put into YouTube the two links that the one that Tim was suggesting and the other one that uh, Cassie was suggesting for nice. the UK. Nice. So you can always check those out. Vanessa says new. Is that why you're saying I'm new because it's April Fool's? I'm the yep. same yep. smart yep. Yep. A that's been on before. But Vanessa, I've never seen your name. Yeah, she's Welcome. been here. Oh, I never don't remember that name. Yeah, she's been here. Well, you're an old hat then, Vanessa. I'm the new guy. I just got here <laughs> yesterday. <coughs> yeah, Cindy did do a move. Not sure if she has the Wi-Fi or the internet yet, but she'll be up. But dancing with aardvarks, man, huge opportunity over there. Huge opportunity. Okay, now I want to break these guys out here. I keep looking up, seeing the mixing table, saying, where? <laughs> like he's not over there. He's on the other side. What are we doing? I said, I keep looking at the mixing table, thinking, where, where? And I keep forgetting you're on the other side. On the other side of what? The camera? I'm at, I'm at, hey, Lee, are you not seeing the mixing table? I'm done. Done what? Are we not are we not broadcasting the mixing table? Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Is he doing the April Fool's joke on me and I'm just not smart enough to keep up? You're welcome, Mike. <laughs> I'm lost. 
Okay, but I think I'm at the mixing table. But the Lee, I think I got to flip that because for some reason it is. Where's the properties on that? Because it is. No, it's correct. No. Oh, wait a minute. It's not updating. Ah, oh, that's the problem. It, it looks just the same. Oh, the USB camera. Is it not plugged in? Oh, yeah. Look at that. This might help a bit. That was not an April Fool's joke. That was... Uh, there we go. Now, where'd my USB cam go? So we got the buffer now. Oh, that's weird. Now it just went away. Now it's not on. It's minimized. It's there. It's just in the upper corner. You talking about for the buffer? Uh, well, I, yeah, I got to resize that. I'm trying to get the USB cam back so I can select it. Let me cancel that. Let me go back in. Oh, there it is. Okay, do you see the mixing table now? Yep. Oh, okay, so, so yeah, it wasn't updating. For some reason, the USB camera froze or something. That was not an April Fool's joke. That was... Uh... So, Dan's a little, sorry, I'm a bit slow. I'm painting faux filigree on 60 faces of that star I mentioned yesterday. Wow. Yeah. How big is that star, Aardvarks? We're going to have to call you DWA. Okay, so what I need to do now is trim these guys here down to the... So right now I'm going to be using all the extra spaces in these molds. Let me get some more molds here. And I got to get these down in here. And with the extra overflow here, it won't do it. So I've got to come over here to the sander and sand those edges down. So I'll be right back. Uh, it's not turning out to be a good day. Go right ahead. What do you got? All right, let me blow these off with the air power. Uh. Well, I do not have that issue as far as insomnia itself goes, so I... Don't really know what to say. What was that for? Uh, Marilyn was asking about severe insomnia and and what people might do with it because she has severe insomnia. Oh, man, I have no idea. I have severe insomnia. Does that mean you never sleep or you just can't get much sleep? Oh, Amelia, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I didn't ask that question, but I did answer it. Ah. Ah. Good. Um, I just, I tried to take a lot of stuff. My body didn't like support. So I just have to suffer through it. I don't really get that much sleep. Bummer. And I'll sleep one to three hours and then wake up for three or four and then I go back to sleep for an hour and then stuff go to work. Dang, that's, that's not good. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Um, what I keeps you up? Don't go to uh, to work until like two p.m. and I get home about two a.m. Hey, and Carrie, what green is the Spangler green? Spring green. What green? Spring green. Spring green? Let me see if I can find that here. And yeah. Mike. Sibifu. Mike answered your question. He says about the size of a tennis ball. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Or and too that big. Is his, and that's Dance's 
name is Mike. Okay, good, Mike. Good to know you. Jump in Discord if you want sometime. He's the one that said that they banned him. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Get a different email address or something and sign up. But more than that, Mike, if you want to know anything about turning and what I do and stuff like that, I'm not the master. I'm just one of the people out there doing it. Um, Carrie, we opaque this spring green, don't we? Yeah, get that high contrast. Okay. So we're going to need 60 for that one. You know, figure out a color for that one. Yeah, so I'm just uh, one of the guys out there doing the uh, turning. I've learned a lot in a year. I'll spread every bit of knowledge that I have to you. Because it's not like you're going to hurt my business because this is growing exponentially and the UK needs you. And when I pop over to London later, I'll stop by and see you unless you're not near London. I pop in and out of London once in a while. Okay, so we're going to do the green in this because this is a Spangler pen. Harry, what should I do this this blue one in? What a, a nice, oh, should we do a Seahawk green? Yeah. So what's a Seahawk green? What's it, what color is that? What's this one here? Sibafu green. Oops. There you go. Ah. It's almost the same, isn't it? No, it's is this Seahawk green, though? Yeah. Is that the color? Cool. Sure, no, that's the color. Is that for both? For the Spangler and that? No. The oh, would you put my spring green away? I don't know. Then? Girl? Yeah, I need to breathe. Girl? Okay, now... That one there, so that goes there. How about this clear one? What should I do for that? Black? No. No? Purple? No. No. Okinawa blue? Oh, that would look so cool. I love that Okinawa blue. Let me unpile these here because you got lots to choose. Yeah, you put that drawer in. We'll get there, Care, as soon as I get some more minutes. What's that? I don't know what that is. You bought that. Mermaid dust. Mermaid dust. Ooh, Does that go with dragons? I don't know. Mermaid dust and dragons. It could do anything we want. I know. I'm in charge. Why'd I ask you if I could do anything I want? Because I'm in charge. Oh, there you go. This one? That's a cool blue. I see blue. I might go with that my spring there that you got there, that mermaid blue. I would just yeah. do that and opaque it. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty cool. Because that's got the starlight color to it. Yep. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Okay, get out of my way. I'm in charge. <laughs> get out of my way. I know. If you're in charge, get out of the way so your workers can do their work. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I need. If you don't behave, you don't get the employee's candy. Oh, I got some right here. See, oh, where'd it go? Who took my candy? Oh, I must have ate it. <laughs> Eating the customer candy. We're gonna go with a green here. Don't feed the elephants. Don't feed the elephants. And then we're going. Oh, we haven't even opened this one yet. No. Is that the mermaid desk? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bought that on Amazon. Amazonia. Oh, your tape didn't do a very good job. You no, I'm telling you, we got to get better envelopes. Uh, for one pen, it works. You shut four. Yep, that's, and we have people with doing two, three, four pens, so we'll have to get the a little bit better thing. Okay. Mike says, I'm not near London, but could take could time a trip and take a workshop at one of my mentor, uh, uh, mentor geometric artists. There you go. Is that the other one? Other what? Where was her other pen? Is this it? That's not it. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Which one? This pen you did yesterday. Is it this? I don't know. Or is this Majesty Magic? That is definitely Majesty Magic. All right. Where's the other pen? She had. Hello, Shay, and hello, Ditsy. They're all in there. Everything I did is in there. Okay. 
So we got green, green, we got Seahawk green. And then we're gonna do, what color should I do a couple of other dragons in? What what others, what color should I do a couple of more dragons in? Um, should I just do extra green? No. No? No, we gotta Aww. have green. Honey, oh. Aww. Aww. Well. I think those black and pink pens can come out of the uh, oven along with the okay. along with those other ones. So they have met their time. I think of something we haven't. Do we need any more Spanglers? Because we do. We could do two more koi yellow just to get them in inventory. That was the last one I looked oh, okay. in, in the vents over today. Yeah. All right. Oh, that'll be cool. Oh, yeah. Because we could do the black on the opposite yep. of that. That would mm -hmm. be killer. Mm -hmm. Woo, yeah, baby. I, I was thinking black pen with a neon uh, neon orange or a neon green. No. Yeah, that would be cool, too. That would be cool. We don't have neon colors yet. Yeah, they're coming, though. No, I mean, we got one or two. That's what I mean. Yeah, we got one or two. We just we don't, don't, have don't have a lot. Neon colors yet. Just don't we, we got a couple, but we just don't have a lot. We have we, to glow in the dark. That's it. Yeah. I mean the yellow sort of neon. No, and then we got yellow. neon, neon things up here. Yeah, but they're too transparent. Okay. Well, they are transparent. They're called translucent neon. Okay. Hello, Green. Now we're gonna need 60, 60, 60, and 120. So that's 180 and 120 is 400. We'll go to 450 just to make sure we have enough. And that will probably hold. We'll do one of these tall guys here. So we will do. We we'll do 400, 450. So 225. Yeah, DWA or Mike, we did a collaboration with Cindy a while back, and we did a really cool pen matching this thing called the Lion Cub, or the or the Lion King, or the King Baby King, or whatever it was called. And we most of the pens we sold were in the U.S. because if you want to ship one of those to the U.K. just for one pen, it was twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, Carrie says, and that just made that pen. Too expensive. So, can't say enough. Big business opportunity over there. I'm not, and again, I'm not sure what it cost to ship it to the uh, Europe, but uh, opportunity there too. Let me turn my timer off. Did it work? Oh, dang it. Did it, did it print? Yes. Oh, good. I just said, did it work? I don't know. I don't know. You talk, talk, talk about that. Talking about you. Well, I didn't know that. I'm only interested in you, baby. So the shipping station is just about set up. The printer's out here now. The scale. All my labels, all my boxing, all my order things. So Wednesday, it's watch Harry ship your orders. And that will be Wednesday, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Pop on the Discord and show everybody. Oh, yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? Yep. You fire up Discord over here and okay, I didn't while, know you're, on while you're playing, yeah, everything's. Anyway, 4 p.m., I think it's Pacific. Let's see. Let's go to here. An international. 
Ah, uh, I think it's seven hours ahead. Seven. And then you can click on that. Actually, come over here and you go turn on the camera. Oh, we got to get OBS fired up. Oh, that's just okay. Hey, Shay. Because I'm over here by the computer and I have a mic. Be careful. She got a mic. There we go. We don't need OBS for that. It will be just a minute. We're just setting up stuff. All right, there's your camera. You are live. We probably want to turn off that microphone. Okay, so when you talk, they'll hear you through me. So talk. Hello? Because you're feeding through mine. Oh, well, I don't need this then. You do. Oh, okay. Because you're not feeding through yours, you're feeding through over there. Okay. So here is the shipping station. I guess. Yeah, there it is. Ah, there's my hand. Ha ha. So, um, so this is the shipping station. This is the keyboard is where I'll do all the typing. It's a and, keyboard. And then back here are two monitors. One to do something. If I'm doing shipping by myself, I can put a YouTube or a video or whatever I want to do. Um, and then I have over here, I have all my orders and how I, who gets what. And then I pull that up and I find the bag. I found my order number and then I go in and pack it. And then we'll do that Wednesday. And then I will have a printer over here is the scale and then a label printer. And then to the right of that is my massive tape dispenser where I put about 15 pieces of tape on a package. So, um, and then I, I have all my stickers, my envelopes. for pen. What's that? Yeah, that's right. And then I have bags for the pens individually. I have small boxes, big boxes, um, bubble wrap. I have enough bubble wrap for a year. Tim ordered it from Office Max or Staples or something, and it's like these big rolls, so I'm not going to run out. So when you, just to give a little indication of what goes on, if it's a pre-order, it goes in this folder right here. And I write down what you want, like for Cinny's Dragon Spit pen that I have eight orders for. They're all in here. They're all written down up until what I don't know. So then I know what to write to each person and let them know. This is the Everest tray right here. So you don't need that right now. And then after that, um, I write it all down. Then I take these papers just like this. We'll just use Cinnies as an example. And I fold it over because on our order form, we have, um, if you can, let's see, uh, camera over here. So I, I think it's this way. There's Cinnies' name, her order number, what she ordered. And then on here is also your finger hold, what kind of style ends you want. And how long you want it to be. This is my instruction sheet so I don't get lost. So he knows what to do. No delays. He can just take the paper and go. If there is an example photo of a turning style that I don't know what he's named it, I'll take a picture. And I sometimes a customer will send me a picture. I'll attach that to the order and say, see photo A. So that makes this process a lot quicker. With this order, after I have written all this out, to give it to Tim, I put it in this little envelope right here. And then I take, for example, this is the pen, throw that in there. And then it goes over to, to the right, there is an order se section. And if there's information missing and I've written up what I can, but I'm waiting for you to respond to me, it goes in the pending bucket. And it sits there until you give me the information and I will follow up and give you a few days to do it in case you have questions for me and all that. Then it goes in another bigger bucket, which is to be turned by Tim bucket. 
and it goes in numeric order by order number. And your order number is the order in which you paid. So if you paid a while back and you're waiting for a blank to be done, you move up to wherever your order number is. So it's fair. Do it in order in which you paid. After then you've seen Tim, he grabs an order and he starts going. And if he has questions or I find out information late when I had my bad leg, I could not get to sometimes get to it. So he would come and ask me. Like last night, he asked me a few times. I got information. My brain thought I put it down. Apparently, I didn't. And then we kind of talked that way. So that's the process. Tim turns the pens. Then they go in a bucket right next to his work. What is that station called? Mixing table. mixing table. It goes to the mixing table. There's an order. He cleans out the pens. I grab orders out of that box. And it will now, it used to go into the kitchen. It comes here now. So I grab an order and then I pack it. And we'll show you that process on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central for my live. So that's sort of what it is. So this is a lot better, a lot more organized. You saw the shipping station being built. If you haven't, there's a video, a uh, live video out there of this. Um, but there's shelves underneath for orders that are slightly large. What's that? Oh, I thought I heard somebody. Um, there's a couple of bigger orders that are large, then they go in their own bucket if I have a couple of them. And then um, they're blanks that have sent to me. Um, and that's the process there. And we do them as we can in between. So we can get them out to them as quickly as we can. And then other people can see. We try and be fair so everyone can see their order. I also email you or Facebook message you when your order's up as well, as you all know that process already. So that is how it works. Any questions? Oh, and we can't forget this. I put these in there. See? Oh, oh there it is. See? Big old bag. So, so it sometimes gets eaten. And then I put your candy in these cute little yellow bags and along with a business card and a leopard leatherwork sticker. So um, sometimes I get a little generous. So you get about three candies each, um, unless I get generous, depending on how many pens you ordered. So that is how that works. So it's kind of fun. At least two, but Berta thought she got ripped off. So I you sometimes will throw a few extras or if I forgot to put the candy in, you can tell me and like, hey, you forgot my candy. So I can stick that in there. So that's how I work over here now. So now I can be here in the shop. And if you have a question, Tim can just ask me here instead of trying to hunt me down now that I have two feet to walk on. So it's pretty exciting. I usually stand. Someone said when I, they were building the table, the question was, well, where are you going to put your legs and how are you going to go under? I do shipping much better standing up. I can't sit and do shipping. I did on the couch. It was very difficult. I wasn't as fast as I can be. And you'll watch me. I have a system and Tim has watched me. I'm pretty fast at it. I've just kind of, I have a system. I know how to fold the boxes quick. And um, you'll watch me fold the box, two different sizes and watch me pack it up. Yeah, I'm pretty much, yeah. I am the Domino's Pizza girl for diamond painting pens. So it's a lot of fun doing that. And just, I love, I love the shipping part and the order part. And Tim is much better at the creativity, making the pens. And we chat about what should we do for this? What should we do for this color? And that's kind of how we come up with our, our process. So now you will be able to see the entire process, Tim pouring, Tim putting it into the pot. Tim taking out of the pot and cutting on the bandsaw. Then taking the bandsaw, we cook the up, cook them so they are good and hard to turn. And we cook them for 16 hours. And then they come out and then they are ready to be either listed or put in an order. Um, I have about four that are waiting for a Poseidon's Pegasus and that's in the oven. It's ready to come out now. So I'll be filling those orders and putting them in the to be turned because I got all the information prior. So that is how that works. So it's kind of fun. Oh, man, that. What did you do? Oh, you lost your mic. Why? Is it soupy? 
Oh, did you wait too long? Yeah, I'm at 11 minutes trying to pour these little dragons in there. Oh, well, then just we so have we'll plenty. Do this next. We got a couple of pots. Oh. Yeah, we make boo boos here now and again, and we just take a long time to fill these little dragon molds up. Yeah, they're very intricate. As you've seen the dragon pen, you have to pour into the dragon and pour all around it. And the scales not, are what, and yeah, the, the scales, scales. Are what takes much time to pour in there. You have, don't have your microphone right. on. Where's my mic? It's right there. I picked it up off the floor. Right yeah. there. Oh. So, there we go. I guess it fell off when I bent over. Yeah. Okay, so. so those are done. We'll take this out. We'll get these squeezing down. Grinchville, did, were you able to get uh, the, the uh, stream from Luna in Discord? Because Grinchville thought that it wasn't coming through on Discord, just showing Carrie's YouTube. So I just wanted to make sure he, that she got that. Um, and Stacy says, "Yeah, because we ordered because we ordered to get the candy." She says, "Back when you were talking about the Werthers, we order what? We get. Oh, you order to get the candy. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, you got to order to get the candy, and uh, it's about." I get about a 25 ounce bag. I get three or four at a time, but occasionally the employees of Leopard Leatherworks, we eat them. <laughs> so that's why I have four bags. <laughs> that is Well, plural. with every ball and chain comes two worthers. Yeah. So in order to get, you know, get him to go turn something. I need you to turn this special project. Well, that will cost you. Well, we feed the animals, so we give them candy. So. Don't feed the elephants. We feed the elephants here, Leopard Leatherworks. So I might even do some of my, depending on how, and I'm gonna test this here. Can everyone see my camera? Okay, so is this, some of you, if any, I think a few of you were on the live on Wednesday. I did it at my other desk. I could do it here. It's a little harder, it's further away. And I could come up like this and show you, but I don't think the light is as good. So, so yeah, so was the other one better? Yeah, your other, desk, your other desk is better for your lives, for your, okay. for your lives. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's what I thought, but this will be fine for the shipping because you, it's perfect length. So no addresses get shown. So right. let's, we keep, keep that confident. Confidential. Confidential. So um, just to show you the different boxes I have, because you probably have seen them. This one is the small box. And actually, I can actually put one together just so you can see. So I just go and I do this and. I'm pretty fast at it. There we go. And now the box is ready. So that's pretty, we're pretty, I'm pretty quick once I get the order and it's all done. It's, it's like all the clean. ninja box shaper. Yeah. And then we have another type of box. Ow, there goes my foot. Ow, ow, ow. I did it again. And so um, this is the bigger box. If you order up to three to four pens, um, three, I can sometimes get in the leopard leatherworks. I didn't bring those out yet. Um, envelope, which some of you have seen and gotten. And um, I can usually stick a tray and a pen or three pens in there. And it's padded. The pen is wrapped. And it, then it's wrapped in a bubble wrap. So it's like super bubbled all over. But if you have like four pens, I'll put bubble wrap in the bottom here. And then I will put this together. And I find, it took me a minute or two to figure this one out. And then you go like that, go like that, and then your bigger box is ready to go. So usually when I send to Canada, I usually use this box because I have to put a customs form on the back. We used to have to get the custom forms from the USPS, but we get the, I can print them off here now. And um, it goes through um, DHL, it goes to Kentucky, and then Kentucky takes it from there and flies it based on the information on my custom form. So it's a little bit better pricing on my end that what I'm charging, but then you get your customs charges and they do that when they do that. So they charge you upright for that, but um, that's additional, I think. And then I have these little handy dandy little 
plastic label things. And for a custom form, I'll just throw it on the back. So that's why all international orders will go in a box like this, because this will not fit on this for them to scan it properly. So even though you might buy one pen, if you're in Canada, that is it. So that is, that is a quick Reader's Digest condensed version of my shipping. Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. Hey, Joe. I think I heard Shay pop in earlier. Hello, Shay. She was in earlier, hello. and yeah, she was in earlier. Ditsy came in. I said hello to both of them. Hello, Ditsy and Shay and everybody else. Yeah, they're both in there, but they're muted. Yeah, they're probably out driving around, working, yep. all that good stuff. Lurk away. Lurk away. Hey, Marilyn, we finished your pens yesterday. So, yeah, she saw them. Oh, cool. I'm glad she or got Marion. you. Oh, Marilyn, Marion, Marion, Marilyn, Marilyn. Yeah, we did hers too. <clears throat> so, and I do have a post on Saturday, as Tim mentioned, we met Marion and her husband, Carl. Oh, did you do that post? I have to do that. Oh, geez. so I have to put that up. That's a lot of fun. You can watch Marion do an unboxing, um, and then you'll see the the, I also have close up pictures that I took before I presented it to her of her items. So if you're thinking of a writing pen or pencil set or um, bottle stoppers, um, you saw Shay's on her live for any of you that were on that. Well, where do um, you see what we do for Caroline? She's got the biggest selection. Of oh, things. Caroline has a whole bunch of cool stuff going on. Um, and then you'll see kind of what it looks like. And Marion's pens were like Lenore's pens were made from a blank and made from scratch and made by Leopard Leatherworks. Do the wine stoppers come with a bottle of wine? <laughs> <laughs> um, the answer is yes. Which flavor do you want and how much money you do you can't have? ship one. Well, I guess you can. I'll I know. Drive it. I know you can't do that either unless you yeah, have a I license. Just go to their city, pick up the bottle of wine and bring it to their Oh house. yeah, that you could do that. We used to work for Walmart and you couldn't transport alcohol oh, you from you couldn't it's in the like, van not like firearms well you couldn't do it we got fined so there you go at least the walmart i worked at maybe not in p, p ridge but they did on mine but that's hey, you, you didn't pay for it did you <laughs> we'll bring you a bottle what color you like no i didn't pay for it <laughs> well just tell us what you like we'll bring it on the seventh i'll bring you a bottle gratis just message me your favorite it usually looks like a red wine she's no. drinking. Yes, Grinchfield. Yep, I am a red wine drinker. You oh, go. you are? Okay. There, there's a wine wine shop in no, the I'd rather, I would rather, rather have the Werther's than wine, to be honest with you. They're so good. <laughs> okay, I'll bring you a bag. <laughs> All right, we'll be there. <laughs> I will be there. Hey, hey, hey Grinchfield. Um, yes, it was showing me um, because I was going over my shipping station, which just got built. Oh, a couple of weeks ago, sometime when I couldn't walk. And so it is now together, and that's where that all happens. So you'll see all yeah, that. That video, I missed it. Yeah. So, you know, I'll be doing it on Wednesday, and you'll well, see it live well, with actual items. Grinchville was thinking that it wasn't. Grinchville was thinking that it wasn't showing CM Luna because yours was on, and I was, I was letting them know that all they had to do was click on that one, and you can see both. Yeah. Oh, good to know. View all you want. Didn't know yep. that. Yep. In Discord, when they put their cameras on in Discord, all of us could have our cameras on in Discord. Yes. Yes. Simultaneously. Yep. All you have to do is click on the one you want to watch. And or at the same time, depending upon your vocabulary. It's funny. The story with the, the Worthers, how I came up with this idea. So I get orders just like you do. I order things on Etsy and from other places and trays and all that stuff. And I would get candy that either I didn't like the flavor or I didn't, I, tea, I don't drink iced tea. Um, so they're nice gifts, wonderful gifts, stickers saying, I don't know what I, it's not my jam. So I thought, well, I was eating Werther's. I'm like, hey, this is gold and it's got purple on the edge. That matches the logo. Oh, I'll buy a bag and order a couple bags. So I had Walmart deliver me some bags with the groceries. 
and I stuck two in there and everyone was posting about the candy. Oh, I love the candy. I'm so excited. It's my favorite candy. I didn't know so many people love the Werther's like I do. And they're the soft ones because I can't eat the hard ones because of my teeth. So um, they're sensitive. So everyone loved them. So I just keep sending them. And then I went and ordered gold bags because that had to match. So that's how that all came to be. Yes, I am. <laughs> when I used to work for Walmart, I worked in the accounting office. So um, I had to sit in there a while. So I'd have my Diet Coke and I grab a bag of Werther's on the end of the end cap at Walmart. They have all those little bag candies. I would grab two bags of those because there was too much air. There was only like five in there. That wasn't enough. So I would grab two bags and sit on the thing. And after a while, my customer service managers would already have the candy on my desk for me. And so I, <laughs> I said, I'll pay you. Just be sure it's in there. And while you're unpacking the candy, so they would stick it on my desk and, you know, for carry only. I mean, it was this is serious stuff here. You're not eating my Werther's. <laughs> so that's, I think yeah, it's funny. Werther's and you might, <laughs> you might not ever come back again. No. Dude. Yeah, you're a lot of white and blue. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's serious stuff, man. Don't mess with the Werther's. So he's there make so Tim is making dragons with um Tiffany Blue. Not on the video. The heck am I hearing? You're hearing Tim over there on Trash the Man outside. We have our garage door open for because no, it's a beautiful it sounds kind of like a heavy wind or something. Oh, not here. It's Oklahoma. We don't have any wind here. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I know. You're giving all the mint. You can have it up there. The other day, I thought the house, well, the other night, actually, I'm behind the painting, and I thought my window was going to blow in. It was that bad. Yeah, we get wind. We've gotten an earthquake occasionally. And I was sitting on the couch and I felt this like jolt. And I thought like the chimney blew off or something because it was windy. And then I looked up and I asked my son, Kevin, um, I think he's master wizard on here. And he said, I go, do you feel that? He goes, feel what? I'm like, the room shook. I think the chimney fell off. Go outside and look and see if the chimney's on the ground. Chimney. I thought we did because no. we have a fireplace. What did I know? It's a fake fireplace. We have oh. a flu. Oh. Event hood. Well, when it rains, I can hear it. But anyway. Yes, for sure. So I. Okay. Okay, I'll let so him go. So we just put in um, a giraffe pattern, a leopard pattern, and two dragon patterns in Tiffany blue. Ooh. That should be cool. Yeah, that sounds cool. He's got to go. Yep, I got it. Okay, Kevin's got to go to work. That means I got to drive him. So I will turn my mic off. Carrie can entertain you for a bit. Oh, I don't know if I'm that good entertainment, but okay. I know. Yeah, I guess. You'll be all right. I'll be. Grab me a scrap. He'll be back pretty quick. It's not too far. So, it's a mystery picture, fantasy ocean. Yes. Oh, yeah. Did you like it? Mystery. Oh yeah. It's it's it was uh it's mystery fifty. I think it's number fifty. Oh okay. Yeah. It's it's called fantasy ocean. Yeah, you know where the, the picture of the dolphins that I showed you, it's going to go right. It's, I'm going to raise that one up and put this one underneath it. Oh, cool. Who was the artist? Um, James Booker. 
No, I never heard of that one. I must have missed that. It's Kate Licensing. It, and I'm not some of you might have remembered the mystery kits were fairly, you know, easy to tell. You know, they were just black and white. And now they've got yeah. it like diagonally and blue in it and all that. And it's yeah. And because uh, people were this one, this one is like that. It's got the yellow dots in it. And yeah. And different colors. Yeah. yeah. They're making sure it I'm hard. One of those because of my vision. Yeah. Yeah. But they they did that because people were figuring out what the art was and telling people, um, hey, this is the art. And then it would either discourage or encourage people yeah. to purchase it. So they did it a little bit more discreetly. And they've had people unbox them on YouTube creators. And it's like, can you tell what it is? Do you have any guesses well, from the drills? I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> No. A lot of them now. A lot of them. What they do is they only show portions of it. They don't lay the whole thing out. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I have seen that. That's how I knew they are. Uh, they got the yellow dots and various things, and I'm not sure if my eyes could handle if, working on one of those because I've seen a couple from artists I love, but I'm afraid yeah. to try the mystery kit because I don't think I could work on it. I would recommend yeah, I release paper. I'm a release paper girl. And so Crashly is loving me because I found her paper to be the the best that I like anyway. And I'm getting quite a collection. So Carissa's Craft Corner just released a release paper holder. So if you haven't checked out her, go to her Facebook and she has a website now, makes it very easy to order. And she does have those um available now to hold your release papers in the size of the release papers so i thought that was cool so i need to go get me one of those yeah, i just used the plain white release papers mainly because the decoration on it i think would there again drive my eyes crazy yeah i don't i like it with as a little color and a little character to it but you know everybody has yeah. their thing it's like but this whole right. craft is you like Cindy likes one type of pen. Lee likes another type. Lee just wants baseball bat ends. That's all he wants. I tried asking. He wouldn't tell me. I just want baseball bat ends. And um, yeah. yeah, Joe is a crashly person. Loves the re 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 release paper. Um, so yeah, I do too. And then, you know, everybody has a different size pen. Cindy likes a flipper. I like, you know, 0.47. I want it all to be symmetrical like the middle to be the same as the, the ends. Um, I don't like a real heavy, heavy pen. I can do it for a while, but then my hand starts to hurt. So then I got to yeah. switch and switch. So when I started Leopard Leatherworks or, well, I told Tim I wanted him to make me a pen. I tried about five different pens and they're beautiful pens. I loved each and every one of them for a different reason, but right. it was too, it wouldn't work for me. And so I kind of told him what I was looking for. I go, I can't find it. And so he, you know, hey, how about this? I'm like, uh, it kind of, it doesn't have, it doesn't shine or whatever. And that's how we start off with the soft shiny. And then we add the polish now, which makes them shiny, mm -hmm. but they're soft and satiny at the same time. So you don't feel the mm -hmm. heaviness of the CA finish, which a lot of turners use. And it's very beautiful. And they do a, they do a good job, but for me, that gloss, I don't like the texture of it. So when he did that, I'm like, huh, this is pretty cool. And I go, I don't know. And he says, try it. Just try the diamond paint. I wouldn't put that thing down. I used it for four straight hours. And I'm just like, oh, I think we're onto something here. And uh, I think Kara was one of the first I sold to. And um, she was one of them. It's actually, I have somebody sent me a pen to fix, and it's actually one of those original green pens that we went with Snow Leopard. And it was another one that went with Inserninus Conticium. It's an Ennis Guerrero piece with a mermaid. Not my style now. I thought it was. I thought, oh, that's cool. I mashed a pen to that, but um, my color skills are a lot better because I have a lot more color now. 
and I'm adding more color. It's coming today, some of it, and some of it's coming later in the week. So we're going to be experimenting with a lot of stuff. But I didn't know, and we posted one bunch of blanks we made for mine because someone said they liked it, and we put seven, and I just wanted seven people to be able to draw for one. And I got seven. I'm like, oh, one for everyone. And then I got another seven people. I want one. Do you have any more? Uh, Tim, we know they want more. And this was all in 50 minutes. And ever since then, it's just been, I reached out to some creators and said, hey, can I send you a pen and just show it on the channel and just let them let me know what you think. And they opened it. And um, a couple, one of them said, it's, I've been waiting for a pen like this for five years and i'm just like wow. wow so that's how it started and that was only a year in march um february we mailed the first pen march dakotathon was my first event ever so this is a very special event dakotathon for me and well tim doesn't diamond paint but we've made pens for them last year and um, nothing like we did this year so we actually have three different pens now for Dakotathon that will go with a lot of things. So we have an Everest and we have Majesty Magic. And we also have um, Poseidon's Pegasus, which five more just came out. And I think four are taken. So I have one more, but I can make more. And that's the thing. You go and see a lot of turners and they do beautiful work, but they only have one. Or they right. they don't have a lot, and oh man, I missed it, or a drop. Oh man, I wanted that pen and I missed it. Or you make another? No, I can't. And either they bought the blank somewhere or whatever. I have casters I work with. I ask them, "Can you make more of these?" Sure. So I just right. ask. I want everyone to have what they want. If you like something, you saw something, and you didn't get to it in time, I want you to be able to have that. That's a, that's our model. Everyone should have a pen they want, color or yeah. feel or anything, because people would say, I want a medium hold. So we give a medium hold. Well, it's too fat. It's too heavy. So I'm like, oh. So then we, after a while, got the idea of measuring. And Tim is a little bit better at math than me. And he figured out what, I mean, I have a caliber and I can measure it and know what it is, but not everybody has a caliber. So we came up with a video on how to measure and the different ends we offer and now we have one with different kind of pens coming out and we're also going to have our blank turning service how the order process works for that so we're growing and we have to process and streamline carrie real yeah. quick yes leopard yeah. leather works on your facebook page mm -hmm. you said to go under what what area to find out how to measure my pen oh no it's on youtube right. under oh on youtube YouTube. Yes. Okay, yeah. yeah, go to YouTube, just where you are now watching this video. Just go over to videos and just go down a little bit and you'll see the the leopard spinning or there's a leopard running or something like that. And you just click on that. It says measuring your finger hold. And then the other one is okay. end tip designs or tip ends or something. I forget what it's exactly called. But you can look at that, but I know you want baseball bat, so you don't have to watch that one. But it's for people who yeah. aren't quite sure. Maybe they got rounded before. Hey, take a look as we explain each one. And that's that. So you don't have to watch that one. Just the finger hold one is in the one you need. Okay. So, because we're getting a lot of blanks, and some casters will let me know they've shipped them, some will not. Uh, so I don't know when they're coming they just show up and so um but everybody every business does business different um when i get them from cocoon i get a text with your order your name um which blanks are yours and then she sends them to you as well and then i she sends me tracking she sends you tracking so you can track it if you don't get that you can always ask me Hey, have you gotten my blanks? But that gets to be like too many emails and I'm not getting it. And then someone says, you're not answering me. I don't, I will let you know when I've opened the box and processed your blanks, but just that's going to be all quick, explained in the video. Just real quick um, to make it a little easier. I, I can get there because of my tab, because I'm on a tablet. 
you can get there after you get off this video. Well, I'm watching that on the videos I'm watching is on um, uh, uh, Discord is what I'm watching that. I just pulled up. Yeah, you know, so it's so it's it, it's not allowing me because it's on video. Because yes. Doing the, yeah. Video? Oh. No. Be, yeah. Because you're watching this one and you you can, but not on a tablet. Doesn't work. Yeah. Um, okay. Just I'm why am right, I not? I let Lee talk for a minute. OK, just real quick. Um, instead of going to videos and trying to find it, go to playlists and it's right there. Instructional videos. It's just a little bit quicker than having to scroll down and look for the instructional videos on the videos list. Okay. Tim put it on playlist along with his jazz videos. <laughs> it'll it'll say instructional videos, and once you click on that, it'll say choosing your tip or measuring your finger hold. Okay. Okay, thanks, Lee. No problem. See all this technical stuff. Oh, there's playlists. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah you Eesh. as soon as you get on your home page, it's it's listed two over. Yeah, I didn't know he put them over there. Huh? Well, I'll see. Yeah. See, I'm ordering and shipping, so he doesn't he just tells me he usually and we usually tell people to go to go to the video. I've always told them to go to the videos and yeah. scroll yeah. down. Or I attach it myself because yeah. they can't yeah. find it. Well, this, so. that's why I mean, that's what I mean. If you go to, because he put yeah. it on playlists, it's just that easy. You yeah. Know? That, yeah. I'll tell people that from now on. Thank you for that. Not a problem. I don't know. I don't know these things. I just do my little shipping table and, and take orders and get all the information. So I'm the, the, the admin girl. I guess I'm the deer helper. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so stealing that from Ditsy, but I'm the deer helper. So I do, all the helper. <laughs> I, I do all behind the scenes stuff. So, but yep. it's fun. It's going to be fun being out here because now I can have my dining room table back so I can possibly do an unboxing in there, but I probably wouldn't do that because I'll probably just go to my other table because it's better lighting in there. So, and it's closer. The camera's closer. There's no camera in the kitchen anymore. So, Maybe we could eat at the di the dining room table. We usually don't. What a novel idea. I know. Eat dinner at the kitchen table. Wow. Is that what that's for? So in, in the past, it's been everything diamond painting, tips, uh, what else? everything, envelopes. I get a new bag of envelopes from Amazon. It's this big package. I don't need a big package like that. I won't use them that fast, but it's all spread across the table. So. And Tim says, you are a mess on here. I go, yes, but I know my mess. So don't touch my mess. But now this yeah, is better. That mess is your, your, but you know where everything is. That's right. It's like, oh, man, do I have that? Do I have that piece? I don't know if I have that kit. Where did I put that kit? Dang. So. Somebody just came in. I don't know who. I don't know where they came from. Yeah, I heard that too as I opened up a bedroom door to come back in. Ah. Uh, hey, Shay. Hey, Shay. Welcome back. That's why we didn't know because she's already there, but she's muted. Yeah, I had to. Um, I went into Chick Fil A and I could still I could still hear you guys even though I had my phone down all the way and people were looking at me and I was like, oh, I better go. So I had to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm back in the car. <laughs> It's like, oh man, it's like, and then Tim was taking pictures of Lee's throne in the hospital or the clinic or whatever the heck, it's like a mini hospital. It's just for tests. And um, it was kind of funny and he takes a picture of it and the lady at the desk is like looking at him like, why are you doing that? Why are you taking a picture of that chair? So like we were going to open it up it. to steal it. Yeah, steal it or make our own. I don't know, but it was it was really actually comical, as Tim explained. It was just 
reserved for volunteers. There was one volunteer and she was standing at the counter with talking to the lady at the counter, chit-chatting. So I'm like, yep. why do they have seats? And it's not that busy of a place. I'm telling you, there was some other gentleman. Oh, what happened? It was like nobody was there. And that's the second time I've been there and it's not busy. So I'm like, hmm. Okay, and then took I'm me back. And it, yeah. Echoes? I don't, I'm not on anything. Yeah, you're also not in Discord. Oh, yeah, there you I are. Am. Yeah, you're in Discord. Okay, never mind. Because I was over at the shipping station. But yeah, That's it's like, oh. where yeah. I was getting the echo from. Maybe. Hey. Okay, Carrie, I was getting ready to step in and save you like you did me. Who's that? Oh, Ditsy. Oh, Ditsy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it became the Carrie show. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> that was funny, though, actually. I'm like, well, if I disconnect and go, everyone's going to go. So I might as well just, like, wing it. She'll come back, I think. No, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. It's like, okay. Who likes, who likes Washington? Who likes release paper? And that conversation started, and I don't like this. I liked it doing this and started that whole conversation. So that was fun. Was, by the uh, way, I missed. Uh, by the way, I missed a couple of posts. Joe Atwood said she loves release paper and loves crash, with, crafts with Crashly. And Stacy also said I love crafts with Crashly. Yes, and I get. I think if you sign up or purchase or I don't know your Facebook group, you get messages like new releases. Well, of course, I got to click on it, right, and buy something. No, no, no Sorry, my cat's bugging me for food. Not time. You got to be like Catherine. Be assertive. It's not your time to eat yet. Yes. <laughs> I hope she's having a good time. I, did she? Her sister come to her, or did she go to her sister? No, she. Her sister came to her. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen her in weeks. So, I mean, at least half of the time I was the limping leopard. I don't know what I got to come up with a new name when I have <clears throat> my deviated septum fixed so i did finally hear about my cpap machine they called me and i'm talking to them on the phone and then the lady's waiting for me to go back for my test and she's looking at me like come on let's go and i'm like i'm sorry guys it's one of those phone calls you you got to answer because you'll never reach them ever again so got that so this we got to get the cpap machine yep Tim and I will be dueling CPAPers. <laughs> My machine is better than yours or something. I don't know. The CPAP twins. Yeah, pretty much. He's telling me, you need to get this. You need to tell him you want this brand. I'm like, and then I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what they're giving me. He goes, you don't want some big honking thing, which he has two small ones. So I could always take one of those, but different type of masks and all this stuff. So. I have to find out what he's using so I get them to order that machine because it, it's easy to travel with. It's like the size of a Coke can. Oh, wow. Little, little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got so many different varying mm -hmm. types. That's not funny. I remember the first one I had was like carrying around a freaking briefcase. That's what the, Tim's first one was. It was 2003. This thing was mm -hmm. like a humidifier or something. It was huge. And he would have to pack that thing up. It took up a whole suitcase. Yep. And then, then I remember one time we were in like, I think it was Double Tree Suites. And I went out to get some things out of the car. And he's sitting there on the, it was like a little kitchenette pipe. But, and he's smiling at me. I'm like, what? Guess what I forgot. I'm like, no, you are sleeping on the couch. You are not coming <laughs> to bed. <laughs> not coming in the bedroom. So, uh, no. Or let me fall asleep first <laughs> and I'll be okay. So, he goes, if I prop myself up, I think we, I won't snore. Yeah, right. <laughs> Didn't work. Didn't work, yeah. So, he's had it for a while. He's had it since 2003. And so, just recently. And I yeah, think I it's when I, I got my first one. 
they said somewhere from a, I'll be like a five to a ten, so it's super minor, but we'll see. Tim's a seven, I think he said. And I think I'm I'm probably be just a five to start, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, you guys, you guys are you guys are borderline. I'm really borderline. I'm more borderline than him. Um, he just I think they had it higher. Like you said yesterday, Lee, like I turned it down. I couldn't, couldn't breathe. I think he had it. They had him at like a nine or an 11 and he ended up turning it down slightly because it was coming through too fast. So yep. like, I can't breathe now. This is worse. So. Well, what I've done is like I said, I turned it down. Originally I turned it to my original, my original setting, which was 15 at the time. Mm-hmm. And then after a couple of nights sleeping with it, I turned it up a couple of notches. So I'm at least up to an 18 now. Eventually, I'll get it up to 21. But wow, I got to start using right. it again. I stopped using it a little while, you know, a short time ago. I got to start using it again. Yeah. Like my son, my oldest son has one. Has He has it as well. So he probably has the same issue my husband does. But now I don't know what his issue is. But he has one. And he showed me his mask or whatever. I'm like, nope, not not wearing that. So not doing that one. I want one that's like twos or something and we'll see. We'll yeah, see what they recommend. Daniel. Yeah. Because um, I've seen Tim. He had me try it once. Here, try this. I'm like, <laughs> so it was like, uh, no, it didn't work. Yeah, see, mine is a nasal mask. It only comes around the no around the nose. Everything else is free. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know what my son has. I, th I thought it covered the whole thing. And that's what my father-in-law had was at least over the nose, but like it looked like an oxygen mask. Yeah, Tim and that's what they look like. Even the even the nasal ones look yeah. like a mini not a, 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 a mini uh, oxygen mask. Tim's like did the little. Yes, I did. I'm like, I don't know. Under, under yeah, that's a that's a big one. What's that, Cassie? There's... Compared to the ones that go over the nose, that's actually not bad. It goes right; it covers your not the bottom part of the nostril, so it um will at least still push air up into the nose. But if you do wind up dropping your mouth and mouth breathing, you also have the ability to get the air through your mouth. No, oh, I'll have that. So I consider a hybrid mask. And yeah, it's real lightweight. Yeah, I I have the pictures and I saved them to my phone so I can show them. Like, hey, what about this? And then the one that Tim has, and see what the options are, or what is preferred. It just came out too. Yeah, that's why I appreciate that because I can show them. Hey, what about this? Because I don't, I don't well, know. Call me later. I'll send you a couple of YouTube's of, of or, or links for YouTube's of some folks that are respiratory therapists that goes over masks all the time and see different CPAP stuff. Yeah. Cool. It'll be super handy for you to watch. Like oh, yeah. the uh, CPAP reviews, CPAP shot a couple of on my head. Cool. And now I'll let you get back to your comment. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Tim is back. So I have been rescued. You have been rescued. Are you struggling? <laughs> no, I was trying to think of things to say if I had nothing to show. Not like you. I did. Oh yeah, Paul Mar I don't know if you've seen. I'm watching 911 right now because my son told me to watch it. Denise told me I need to watch it. It's a good show, so I'm like, okay. And it's pretty good. It has Angela Bassett in it, and it's it's like emergency, but a little bit more higher tech. <laughs> it's as cheesy as emergency. Yeah, that too. I've never heard of it. It's pretty good. There's two. There's one that's 911 Lone Star, which takes place in mostly Texas, and then that's a newer one. But the original one is just 911. It's on Hulu, and then we started watching uh, Palm. Is it Palm Royale? Palm Royale, and it's got a couple really big names in that one too: Carol Brunette and Jennifer Jennifer Wig from Saturday Night Live, and then who else was in there? Je Allison Janney. Is in that one. Um, so if you haven't seen the Gilded Age, you need to see, see that. the Gilded Age. Oh, that is so. It's it's like an American um, Downton Abbey, <laughs> but it's easier to understand and follow. I like that. Yeah, that was a good one. But you'll love Gilded Age. 
The Gilded Age. Yeah, I'm watching um, Tom Royale too. I really like it. Uh, yeah, we just seen the first first episode. I don't. Yeah, I've only watched the one. I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I. Oh, now we're going to be talking about speedos again. Ricky no, Martin. <laughs> Gosh, definitely not. Oh, Miss Nikki says that nine one one and the Gilded Days are two favorites. I'm going to yes. change it here in a second. Us too. There you go. Uh, I think General Hospital stuff. Was he in General Hospital? Yeah, he was. He was. Musician. Yeah. And same thing with Alec Baldwin. He was on Another World and he was a teenager. And I watched that when I was in high school. And then he was an actor. I'm like, he was on a soap. <laughs> I'm like, gosh, funny. But you remember. I never got into soap operas. I only did because my friends in high school were watching it. And then. I watched another one, and that's because my sister-in-law was watching it, and she said, watch this. And I remember recording it on VCR so I could watch it when I got home. Days have changed now. That's for sure. Oh, I stood on my foot too long. I have, what was that one Jane show? It's like, show me the money. Um, big, oh, bucks, no whammies. big bucks, no whammies. No, big bucks, no whammies. I don't remember the show it was, but you guys like, can we big bucks, no whammies? If you got a whammy, you lost your money. Yeah, it was called big bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was called big bucks. Yeah. Something like that. I gotta start putting some of these down there. I thought there might have been a dragon in there. Yeah, the feet don't come out well. Show that on the camera so they can. It's, oh. it's just hard to fill. Right? Yeah. Right yeah, we tried the paws, but they didn't work. They were too too skinny. And he needed bigger paws. So. I got to fill this one up because he's got the red, white, and blue deal. That makes sense. I cool. need a yellow flag too. I'm not sure why. Oh, I know why. For the um, British. Welch flag. It's red. Oh, stars and stripes. Oh, yeah, no, that might not that work. work um, that was for um, Robin over at Paddy Wax. Can you do that? We could. I have to come up with a design or colors. I have to talk to her. If I turn on the microphone, if you look in general, uh, Carrie, you'll see the nasal mask that I wear. Oh, okay. Thank you for posting that. I know what Tim really wears. Small. I see it every night. The best one is InnoMed nasal hair treatment. For me. For him, yeah. Simply unobtrusive. And it's funny, for years, he would for, like just doze off and forget to put it on or was watching something and I wasn't in there yet. And I was doing something, probably stuck doing one more cone and then I'll come in. And then uh, I'd said, okay, put your hose on. Put your hose on now he can say the same thing to me so usually it's did i put my teeth in and that's not teeth it's actually my night guard because if i don't i'll clench and i'll wake up with a headache so the wonderful things of age it's not age for me it's simply too fat oh what's my excuse i don't know what's your excuse i don't know look what you're doing I'm not sure of the technical, Cassie. I just know it's, you know. Oh, this is. So. How did this get out here? I don't know. Oh, I think we were using that for the video. I knew I had one more. I couldn't find it. You had it. Out of the oven yet? No, I didn't. I've been talking. I'll get it. You go entertain. Entertain. When she leaves, I just found the word that you have not been paid. You have not been paid. I guess people can still hear me. I am taking out yep. the black and pink dragons and the Poseidon's Pegasus. Tim? Oh, I think these have to stay in longer.
Yeah, that would be too big for me. Yep. How long do these trays stay in here? Over on my regular desk. Ouch. Right. Cramping. Yeah, I know the feeling, Denise. <laughs> yeah, Ms. Nikki says 911 and the Gilded Age are her two favorites. <laughs> Emma, Emma Casey says, hello, Tim and Carrie. And that's correct, Nikki. That's the game show she was talking about. Press your luck. Press your luck. Sarah Ann Creations says, hello, everyone. Hey, Tim, did you see how the sides of those All right, my Pegasus came out? On. Oh, well, are these molds never seen those before? Emma, they are things I've poured when I had extra resin in some of the molds that I have, those blue molds, and I've just not cast them further. I was just trying to not waste resin, so we'll take that collection and start dropping them into things like we've been doing the last day or two. With the black and pink yeah. dragons. And we just did a res Tiffany med. Blue. Oh, I could never wear that ResMed thing. Let me see. This ResMed F40, just looking at it, I couldn't wear it. Yeah, that bigger one, yeah, I, I couldn't wear that. Yeah. Above that is the one Above that is the one that I wear. Which one does he wear? I'm just curious. Please, here we go. I should have taken a picture of it direct on, but I wasn't thinking. Yeah, Tim's taking them picture from that one of the supply websites to show you his. How long do the trays stay in there for? Um, 12 hours. Okay. Or 16 hours. When did you put them in? This morning? Okay, this is the one I wear, but I do not use the head thing, and I don't run it back down in front of my neck. I actually run it back over my head, over my ears, and I use that little tiny cinching in the back to pull them together. And then it just goes off my back, down my side, into the machine, off the bed. Yeah. Mega, mega unobtrusive. That's hers. Where's Lee's? Um, is that a nasal pillow, Lee? What is that? It's it's a nasal mask. It's It's, it's got soft, soft cell soft, interior. Um, but it covers the entire nose. Uh, mine just sticks in my nose. I don't like know. I'm, I'm bringing Tim to the appointment so he can see what they're going to give me. And I'd be like, I don't know. I mean, everybody has something different. My dad actually used to wear one that actually had a mask. Uh, you know, the that's over the Tim, mouth and nose. Kind that's of what Timmy wears. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Uh, I didn't either. I'm I like, didn't like it. And I've been wearing that now for gosh, how long? 15 years. Yeah. Something like that. Uh-huh. CM Luna. I have a weird shaped face that's also overdue for fixing my septum and jaw. So masks are hard to get to fit me. That's why I don't like masks. Um, I also can't stand anything on my nose because that's where the break is. I'm with you there. That's why I yep. use the cannula. No pictures of the bleep sleep. But that's the best minimal ass mask. I switched from the Dreamwear nasal cushions from it. Yeah, I tried some nasal cushions. I had this one that for probably two weeks that had like this headgear. It made me look like a what Klingon or something. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. Reached, it reached down over my head and had these two little nasal pillows, had this blue plastic. You look like the Borg. It was stupid. You did. You look like the Borg. You and Cassie are talking at the same time. <laughs> I didn't hear her. No, you were you were talking with you. Uh, Tim was talking, and it was oh. like the two of you were talking at the same time. How did you hear her? Where where's she at? She's in Discord. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. I didn't see her voice moving or nothing. Am I in Discord? 
Yeah. No, I was not in Discord. Me. And I didn't hear me. I don't know what your name is, so. I wasn't in Discord. That was my problem. Explain your explain your process again. Okay. So I'm sorry, Cassie, go ahead and say what you said because I was not in Discord. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. I, no, you didn't talk um, over me because I didn't even hear you. <laughs> yeah, the nasal air cannula I use comes up underneath. Because of the mouth breathing for me, um, sometimes if I don't want to wear a chin strap that night, because my jaw is not open, then there's no point of a nasal mask because every mouth I'll have a leak out in the air with my mouth. That's why I wear that one. If I feel like wearing the chin strap, then that's where I linked you the bleep sleep. I wear a. Uh, no mask. I wear a. Uh, or no, I don't wear. I wear that nasal air cannula, and I and I hug a pillow when I sleep on my side. And it just shoves my mouth shut. And I sleep with my mouth shut anyway. You don't have a knife bar. I do. That's the problem. I think. No, yeah, definitely. I'm all over the, all I'm over the bed, bed when I sleep, sleep, and that thing just swivels right, right around. around. Yeah, I don't move. No with it. Well, he literally. That's my right. thing. You could. They go up inside your nose. Oh, okay. That's why they make 40 different kinds. One will work, hopefully. Yeah, Lee, we just, just wear an OBA, Lee, and strap it on and be good. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Wouldn't be very good for sleeping, but it sure would be good for pumping air into you. Yeah. Hey, what was your rate when you were in the Navy? I forget. Was it Bosun's mate? Uh, yeah, I was a deck cape. Gotcha. Knuckle dragger, huh? Pretty much. Yeah, it's, I, I, I sort of related to the term paint defense on Karate Kid. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was the guy that would walk by, walk into the uh, place you'd just mopped, and then you'd yell at me because I wasn't paying attention. Uh-huh. I just swept that. Oh, shoot. I just walked on your sweeping. Right uh -huh. your dirt. I didn't even bother doing that. I didn't even bother doing that. I just went over it again because I knew I was going to have to anyway. Yep. All righty, so we got a little turning here. What are we doing here? We are doing 0.55 rounded ends. This is for Kimba Crafts Pen Drop Winner C8 C Photo A. We are turning it like. What is that? Oh, it's two gumballs in the middle with rounded ends. That's not so bad. Finger hole 0.55 rounded. Let me make sure I do this right. All right, the blower be on, the lathe is on, the sharpening boy was by. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a cigar. All right. Scoot a little closer here. Cigarette. 
So let me get my headphones on here. I heard voices in the background. <laughs> That's all right. You didn't miss anything. Power on. Yay. That usually helps. All right. So I got the headphones on. I know that uh, somebody say something in Discord. Something in Discord. Oh. No, I gotta do that. See, Lee, it doesn't help when you say something in Discord. Because yeah, I know it doesn't. That's why I, I said it. Dream yard. Okay, here we go. Saddle up. We're gonna do rounded ends. We gotta start on the outside going in. Oh, oh I forgot that all my sounds. I'm gonna have to do that for my computer. I want to put all the Disney shit on their hair. Yeah, I found a bunch of them, but unfortunately, they're too long for my for, for my use. Yeah, they got a uh, limit on there too for the size of the file. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, I still couldn't get that screamer pen out of my brain yesterday. So, so colorful. Jesse, con Jesse contacted us back and he carried me. How many do you want? It's all five. I didn't do that one. Either. There you go. The crowd participation is rampant. Oh, they're just all lurking. Yeah, working and lurking. You know, some people like Shay can't really participate all that much because she's too busy driving around and has to pay attention to the road. She doesn't have to, but she is. Well, for her own safety, she has to. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Ah, there you go. I mean, there's a lot of people on the road that should be paying attention to their own safety, and apparently they don't think they have. Oh, my yep. goodness. That's right. Stupid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've had it happen to me when I was driving for for a nursing company. Yeah, well, I pulled over to help a couple of women with a flat tire. And uh, the owner's husband happened to drive by and recognized the car. <laughs> and then recognized me. <laughs> So it's like, you, you can't do that. You're on company time. Okay. It won't happen again. Wow. Well, I mean, it's a liability issue. Yeah. You know, if, if something happened, if something happened with me helping them change the tire, they could sue the company. Right. Oh, my goodness. What the heck happened there? There you go. There goes one of those times. Yep. It's it chipped off the just end. Enough. 
Yeah, look at this. See, it's filled with all that foil and all that foreign material creates weaknesses. Yeah. Oh, uh, and Denise asked if they're going to report if they were going to report that uh, blank for you. Yes, I'm getting five of them. Nah, it is completely coincidence. And again, if you look through here, I don't know where the other pieces went. I'll probably find them eventually. But any time that you add all this foreign material, all, as gorgeous as it is, it creates weaknesses. So you can look all through here, and there's just pieces where you get it just at the right angle, and it goes. Yep. Just like the Baltimore Bridge. If you hit it and take out one of those trestles, the whole thing falls. So we'll figure out. We may shorten it up. I'll refund her money. We'll buy another one. Something we'll figure out. No big deal. So I will let Carrie know this one crashed and burned. And again, this could be an awesome save like Cat's Pen. Well, she's still in Discord, so she might have heard it. Who's that, Carrie? Now, I think her desk is in Discord. She's not at her desk. Oh. There. Okay, so on to the next one. I'll put this to the side here for a second. Yeah, and he says, yay. Yeah, I personally, I don't believe in jinxes. It's just a coincidence that's fully explained by logic and physics. Okay, but now we got a Miss Gold pen here. Gotta do some drilling. And if I don't hold my tongue in the right part of my cheek, that might. What's amazing, though, is as powerful as this machine is, when the drive mechanism stops, the pen stops immediately. It didn't even keep going. It just stopped. Yeah, I just happened to look away just as it happened. So when I looked back up, all I saw was the, the odd angle it was at in the lathe. I'm like, what the heck happened? Yeah. Amy, uh, that's probably about what the third time that's happened in a thousand pens. Well, yeah, it's I think it's the second or third time. Actually, I think it's the second time it actually broke. The third time, nothing broke, it just so it was just so hot that it bent and flew off the lathe. Oh, that was that one one girl made, she was a, a yeah, new the, blank the, maker. And yeah, that we all yeah. went, that we all went, oh my God, how did that not break? <laughs> I don't think it was fully cured. It was weird. But it came out real nice. That was a good save. Too. Yeah, it did. It came out beautifully. And in case you didn't hear me, hello, Mia. Hi, Mia. That's okay. I he knew you that. Were. I do that all the time. Happy Easter to you as well. How, how are you feeling oh. now that you're actually back to six hours ahead of us? <laughs> <laughs> it was all that. It was all that running backwards or running forward. No, generally isn't. Well, did they? All right, let's get this going 
is 0 0.71, 0 0.71 baseball bat ends. Three this is the, what is this thing called again? Uh, 0.71, that's how it Poseidon's, Poseidon's Pegasus. And this is for Miss Gold. Well, they had a they had a pen. He he had a pen malfunction. Yeah. Yeah. It said, "I don't want to be turned today." Snap. Snap. We're done. That's what this one is. It says right on my sheet, Cassie, 1450, Poseidon Pegasus, 0. 0.71, baseball, five and a quarter. What am I missing? So what is it you desire? Two twenty-five. That's a point eight. Woo! We passed that a few minutes ago. Let me uh, let me make the other end a point eight. I don't think she got that message or didn't put it on my sheet. That's for sure. Could be in a point A. Let's see what we're starting with on this end. We're starting with a. Well, no, no. On this end over here, I'm at point seven two. And on this end here, which I haven't turned yet, I'm at a point nine four. So I'm going to try to take that down to a point eight. Let's see how that works. It doesn't give you much of a baseball on the end. It's more like an elephant's foot for baseball. Hey, well, I want you to be happy and be comfortable. Let's see what see that's that's point eight right there. Which means we're gonna, we're gonna make you an elephant. Okay. Well, if the other end is at point seven three, why don't you just stay with that, Cassie? Well, here's why. The this one actually down here is a point seven two. Oh, point seven two. Yeah, and when I start finishing it, I mean, if you look, if I had a decimal thing, it would say it was 0.718 or something like that. Uh, so when I start sanding and finishing it, getting this smooth, it's probably get down to the 0.71. Yeah. Right. I see now. Well, that's why I ask. You know, you, I, cool. no I'm deal. still learning here. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Eat the food. <clears throat> food is always a plus. I already had my food. Yeah. I had peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Yum, yum. So do I. Oh, 
Well, just just make toast. Okay. Well. You got another Poseidon? Oh, okay. Yes. Well, we can make this one a skinny one here. Yeah, it's not that it's not that she can't have bread. She just doesn't like the texture of it with peanut butter on it. Well, right now he's just. I think he's just looking it over. Yeah, that one had like a chip on the end, right where the uh, baseball bat would be, and I can't make it any thinner, so I'll save that one for a thinner pen. Because I got another .55 to do in that same thing here later, so I'll make that a .55. That'll give me all the... So what happens here, every once in a while, the thing will grab it. See this chip right here? Yeah. You can see the shininess in there. Yeah, you'll see it first. Then. Okay. Yeah, this. So this won't work with a point seven one because now I can't, now I got to get that down far enough where this whole it's going to become a pointed end type of thing. So what I'll do is I'll take this one here. I'm going to leave it a little fatter to see if we can achieve that 0.8, whatever, to the chip there and the chip there. So that's a perfect 0.55. So the blank is not wasted. We just got to readjust. It. So. Ain't no tragedy. It's just figuring out solutions. I'll see. I don't believe in Monday. I don't believe in Mondays. I don't believe in bad luck. I don't believe in suspicion. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe, I mean, Everything in my head is very logically figured out. With knowledge. Nope. I do not. I like them. I like them. I like ghost stories and all that kind of stuff. But in reality, for me. Okay, I still don't believe in them. <laughs> nope. As is as is most canyons. As is most canyons. <laughs> I don't need to. I don't have any evidence. I don't have any research for that particular situation.
So, my theory is, number one, I believe in spirits. Angels, angels, and stuff like that. Because there's logical reasons for them to do what they do. If, but, if a ghost is a ghost, that means that it's not a physical manifestation, right? So how could something who's not a physical manifestation touch something that is physical? Well, no, I didn't say that. Mia was relaying her experience. The candle story. Something moving. Now, if there were a video camera on that candle, there likely would be some actual explanation. I don't know if it is. Not a clue. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, and, and I'm not. And I'm not saying it didn't happen because your experience is your experience. I respect it a hundred percent. I just don't know what happened. Yeah. So, Cassie, this is a point eight on this end here. My brain is just too logical, too. Uh, uh, what's that? Oh, oh, oh! I thought. <laughs> I thought we were talking about ghosts. Have you measured a ghost? Cool. All that matters is that you're comfortable using it. I have no preferences. Except your comfort and many, many hours of enjoyability of time. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I am the kid. Yep. And, and I recommend, in fact, most pens I make are usually one or two hundredths different from one end to the other. They're never exact. If they're exact, that was a fluke because I'm doing this stuff by hand. Who could be exact, right? Now. Back to the ghosts and spirits. I love scary movies. I love ghost stories. One of the favorite books that I have in my collection is called Rich Witches, Rats, and Warlocks. And it was a book I read as a kid. And it's got all the sc scary stories you can imagine. In it. And what was funny is, as I was watching Supernatural, it's like my whole childhood out of that book was being relived. So I love, 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 love paranormal stories, uh, scary stories, whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's my imagination part of my brain. The, the real physical figure out the world part of the brain doesn't go in the direction. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. I mean, or there was, there's some other kind of being we're not aware of. You know, it's out there. I don't know everything. Crap. I learned how to make pens a year and a half ago. A year and a half. Okay, so let's where's my mark? So my buddy actually makes a paranormal show down in Dallas. I'll have to, I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to ask him what I even gave him a thousand dollars to help with fund it. I just love scary stories. But I forget the name because I lost track when I asked. Okay, this is the three restraints. Three restraints gives me four digs. So that is four of do, 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 do. Oh, you know it, man. And I love a good story, man. When I was I was the kid who went snipe hunting. And freaking loved it, even though I knew it was a scam as a scout. And I'm the kid that introduced 150 other scouts to snipe hunt. Right? Doesn't exist. Running through the woods, banging crap together, pretending there's some bird coming towards you. Hold that bag out, boy. You're going to catch that bird. And <laughs> all that fun stuff. I, I love, 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 love that stuff. 
Absolutely. I am not anti-ghost. I just don't believe in ghosts. As, as is defined by a lot of people. Now, I believe in spirits, mainly of the heavenly being type, coming for some purpose, angels, or, you know, that kind of stuff, because the logic and my knowledge in that world, the religious world, the theological world kind of stuff, supports my knowledge, supports my beliefs, and happens. So that stuff I believe. What about devils? Evil's here. What do you mean come? It's full it's in full force. They're here. They've been here they've been here since their creation. Yeah, just like you were. Into the veil was getting very thin at that point between whatever sphere we're in, whatever sphere the hereafter is in, but it's all on this earth. We don't leave it to be the purpose of the exalt. But that's for a whole different discussion. The key is though, I believe in the supernatural. Just not as is defined in my book, which is Rad's even though. Ooh, you're a lucky lady. Like a bunch of diamond painting goodies. That's better than a bunch of ghost stories. Although if I were a heavy duty diamond painter day in, day out, I'd have coast to coast AM on my radio all night long. I'd be an overnight diamond painter. It's coast to coast AM. Right. Nice. That's awesome. You're a lucky lady. That is. That is your life. I hate when people say they don't have a life. You have a life. It's the life that you choose to live. It may not be the life that is defined by society as this is the life, but it is your life. <laughs> you go and we're right here we're right here with you now this one here cassie on this end is right above point eight so when i finish this down it's going to end up right on point eight this one right here is probably right at point eight probably going to end up at point seven nine five when i'm done with it why is it a hassle i have to do less work have to carve less away. Less, less work is not a hassle. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yep. And that's why we make all these different size pens. And everybody's got a... Everybody's got a... Dang, it's awesome. So what I'd recommend to you ladies
So I'd highly recommend to you ladies, especially if you love the paranormal and crazy stories like that, is to listen. It's, it's on overnight. And, uh, it's Coast to Coast AM. It's a radio show led by now George Norrie. I think it used to be Art Bell back in the day. And uh, when I was an overnight person, in fact, if I were Lee, a security guard working the night shift, I'd have that radio tuned to Coast to Coast AM because he will keep you company for five or six hours, I think the show goes. But you can go to Coast to Coast AM.com. It'll tell you when it's on. And it'll tell you what radio station in your area is broadcasting. <laughs> and it is, it's the best absolutely the best overnight show it fulfills my okay so i'm just saying if you got if you're up then there's a a really cool outlet and that show fulfills mm -hmm. my desire for scary stories and paranormal fun you know it yeah, I hear him all the time. I haven't listened to George in probably 10 years. I don't work at night anymore. But when I did, he was on the radio. Oh, cool. So you know Coast to Coast AM then. Yep, yep. And you can, and you can, you can listen to the rebroadcast if you join their their little world there, Coast to Coast AM world, pay the monthly fee and restream the shows they played the night before. They're just great. They're just fun. He may he may be singly responsible for the safety of trucking in America alone. Because all those truck drivers wide awake all night long listening to George Norrie and everybody that calls in, all the guests that he's got on. I'm telling you, it's a great show. And if you love the paranormal, that's the show for overnight. Yeah. And I love the paranormal. I just, just not like everybody else does. Yep. Now, if you're if you're by yourself, I'm going to give you another website that is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm a huge fan of old time radio. And old time radio ran from the 20s into the late 40s, because right at the beginning of the 50s, there was a little bit of radio left, but it really converted over to television. Soap operas on the radio were now on TV and that kind of stuff. But it is R U S C. Romeo Union Sierra Charlie, rusc.com. I've, I've been a member of his website for 10 years, right? He has a catalog of thousands and thousands of hours of, you name it, of all the radio shows from back in the day. And there was one radio show that tried to make a comeback. It was called the CBS Radio Mystery Theater, and it was on in the early 70s. And that show was broadcast on the radio in the early 70s. I don't know why they tried to do a comeback, but they did a fantastic job at that, that whole, all the stories they did. Famous actors came in and acted as they were coming up in the world and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's a good, good to hit. Yep. 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 Yeah. Most likely, yeah. But uh, those are those are my two favorite websites out there for absolutely fun entertainment. Wholesome, pure. You can even hear the old radio ads most times. But an RUSC stands for Are You Sitting Comfortably? And if you want some scary shows, some of the best were Quiet Please and Lights Out. I get, I'll tell you a funny story. So we were taking these scouts to go to this uh, winter cabin up in Park City, Utah. We were, we were living down in Layton, Utah, down in the flats there by Salt Lake. And uh, we took them up into the hills. And as we were coming up the mountain, it's about an hour drive to get up there. 
Um, they were bored and fidgeting in the back. So I told Dave, I said, hey, let's put on a, an old radio show. So I put on Lights Out. And uh, they, it started playing. And it got to the end of it. And it was quiet in the car. And every one of these kids was like, play more, play more, play more. And, and this is this is 90s scouts, right? <laughs> like, because it is pure entertainment. And your imagination is a much better TV screen than anything anybody else can show. But anyway, there's my two, two uh, tips for the day on this Manic Monday. And Cassie, this is a honker of a pen, and I hope it fits well. What you got, Mia? Yes, ma'am. 100%. And I say, Cassie, this is a honker of a pen, so you should enjoy this one. I can see it starting to shine through already. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, that's right. Yeah, no, let her let her live. Let her believe. How fun. So this is pretty cool. Very big clear gap right in here with all that sparkles. Gold, swirly. <laughs> I know it's amazing. And I shall return. We can't wait, Lee. Can't wait. Oh, he just been just been chilling and listening. Yeah, baby, 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 baby. I'm here to. Is it in the VIP group? What does that mean? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Diamond Art Club. Yeah, yeah. I understand. You got to do what you got to do. Now, what you could do, Cindy, is invite her to our Discord channel, turn your video on in your Discord, and then everybody can watch your unboxing as well, if you chose. That's not a, a demand. It's just an idea. Yeah, it might be fun. It might be fun. If not, then that's cool. I understand the mother-daughter time. Yeah, I got you. Yes, ma'am. All righty, see you, Cindy. All right, Mia, have a fun afternoon. Yes. What time's Kara on? About six, I think. Yeah. All right, there it is. It's looking gorgeous. The clear really sets it off. When you see this in person, you'd be like, wow. You can see all that glitter Carrie put in there. It's awesome. Okay. Poseidon's Pegasus, Miss Cassie. With her crab. You got a crab in there, too. Yeah. Okay, I got to get a different bucket because my clean... Yeah, my cleaned bucket is full. I cleaned all these. I got to get them out of here because I got to 
start over. Let's see. I need a, a tote. Where's a tote? Where's an extra tote? Let's see. I used to have a couple extra in here. I don't know where they went. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Maybe I'll just put them on her desk. That'll make her happy. Oh, I'm going to use this bucket right here. I found the bucket. It's full of Werther's. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. It's not full anymore. That's it. That's it. All right. Who's next? Is Amelia in the house? Oh, she's got a coffee bean one. And it's a palm placer. So a palm placer only gets a hole on one end. Silly. All right, so we got one hole, one bushing. There goes the trash man. Okay, so this is how we're going to do this one here. I'm going to mark the center of this. This will be important because i got to get it right in the middle to get this thing to turn correctly. And I'll show you what I'm doing here. Let's see, where is my... My pen, here's my pen. So what I do is I use this tool right here, which marks the center of something. I do it in one direction, I do it in the other direction, and that tells me where the center is of that blank. More gadgets, folks, more gadgets. And I put this on here, like, am I on the buffer? Let me get on the, let me get on the, oh, okay, good, good, good. So put that on here, and I'll bring this one over to meet it and get it right on that center point, which I am. Right there. Boom. Okay, we are right there in the middle, so then we spin it. We'll spin nicely. All right. First thing we got to do is make this sucker round in our normal fashion. Slap it up. All right, here we go. Perfect. 
big one and a half inch by one and a half inch. A little bit like turning a bottle stuff. Question is, I'm not sure exactly how big one of these happens to be. Palm, finger hold, or finger length, palm size, that kind of thing. So we're gonna put a wing this, we're gonna leave it a little fat so that Amelia can try it and then see if it fits her palm. This is really the hand size now comes into the picture, not uh, not finger where you grip it on there. So, so I know we've got to make it a little bit pointy on this end, and then we'll make some grooves on there to sort of fit into the palm. So let's get in here like this. Start taking a little bit of this off. While your palm placing. You want to be able to see basically this big old thing could get in the way. Take it out of the pseudo if you want. Is Amelia in the house today? Hello. Hello, Tammy. Oh, probably about 11, 12, 15 years. No requirement to be here. We're just glad you're here when you get here. Oh, he's here. He just out doing something else right now. They had a nurse stop by for one reason. That kind of thing. We appreciate you. We like you here too. Yeah, I know. Carrie told me she's very excited. This is a palm place. Well, we haven't done many of them. It's sort of like doing a bottle stopper, but you're holding it differently when you're, when you're using it. Why not? So when you're holding a palm, when you're holding a palm placer, how do you hold it? Do you hold it like this, or do you hold it like this? Or... I guess everybody probably does.
So say that again, please. Yeah, that might help. I'm trying to figure out how you like. I mean, I think like this, right? If I'm doing a palm place, you do it like that. But that can't be right. But it, but it could be. Yeah, no doubt about that. But yeah, but how do you use it? Well, no. When you show when you show me your picture, that that'll do it. Come back after lunch. Can't wait to see you, Stacy. Let's see. Denise was saying, are they going to re-pour that one from last night? Report? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Denise is probably saying. Yes, they're going to re -pour. Palm placers. They sort of look like it. Yeah. Hold out. Yeah, that's because I'm just mumbling. There's someone doing a palm picture. Fruit inspired Jada Jim's palm place. I'd like to see how she works. Did you put a picture in there for us yet, Wanda? Okay. Hey, did you guys did you guys see Carissa's uh, video for using that beverage can opener? Of course, you can also, wherever you are looking at the picture, copy the picture and go to that general tab, like I think Angie was talking about, and just put it, um, or Melanie, I think Melanie, that was Melanie. And then you just put the cursor in that message pound general and then just hit control V or paste or whatever and paste it right in the heat. Then you hit enter and then it sends it.
I don't have the camera on mine. Looks like a lot of these are just um, they're egg shaped. Rare, rare find, spring cuties, palm placer, diamond. Rare find. We're going for an egg shape. That's cool. All right. So I guess when we're, when we're doing these things, we're probably going to have to ask the diameter of what they find in front of them. If somebody has a place already, tell us what the size of it is. I want, I want a place that I can put this up and set it down. Who does? In Messenger or on Facebook itself? Fire up Messenger. Don't have anything from you yet, Wanda. 
on Messenger. No. Oh, that. Oh, that could be. Oh, yeah, Wanda Darwin. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Let me just. Here's how I hold mine. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Oh. So you're like gripping that thing from the top. Oh, so then we got to ask when we're doing a palm placer, do you grip it in your palm or do you over grip it with your hand? Because I would call, just because I'm making stuff up here, I would call that an over grip, wouldn't you? Okay, that's fair. All right, so it's over grip. So the larger, so this is not like the other palm places I saw. You're grabbing it up on that top knob. So we got to ask, are you a, a palm gripper or an over gripper? Look at all the stuff we're learning today. No question. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for sending me those. I appreciate it. And now I think, oh, I got to say hi back. That way we can get permission to go back and forth. Okay. okay. Now you're over my regular messenger. Thing. Right. Yeah, he went over to the sanctuary. Are you sure you want this person in here? All right, so I think I know the question. All right, I'm going to assume that she is grabbing it with her palm. Find my mistake. I'm going to leave this top on here. One, to give her a place for the top of her hand to sit, but to give her a place to sit it down with the point upwards. Not roll off the cake. I like that. And Amelia, if you're watching this, we're going to send this to you. And then we're going to determine if this is, I think it's not, we've got a lot of meat left. We can do some modifications. All right, that's cool. Let's finish it up, call it good, and then we'll get Amelia and figure out how she holds hers and what the best way to carve hers would be. Never even thought about that. So palm placing and overhead placing, or over grip placing. You've settled in on that I've got the I've got the mold for these palm places because the mold is nothing more than a uh, a uh, what do you call it the uh, bottle stopper mold. That's what these molds. That's what these are made out of. That's probably good. Like it's got junk all over. It.
sweat in here. Your camera's off, Karen. Probably came from me standing here. It came all the way through the camera. Right. There it is. How she can hold that one. Looks pretty cool. Pretty cool, doesn't it? Well, here we go again. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wasn't thinking that. I thought it looked like a cop. <laughs> or as I call it, dragon puke. You can you can turn you can turn your Discord back on. Did. You did. So let's see right here. Oh. There you go. Uh, hello. I guess so. Here, your audio is not very good. Yes, she does. All right, there there is a palm placer for Amelia. 
I didn't put it anywhere. I didn't put it anywhere. Oh, there it is. You didn't bring your glitter out here. That's not your glitter. You showed it to me on the couch. You did not bring it out here. Not up here. You had it on the couch last you showed me. Oh. Organization, people. Well, we're not going to do much now. She's trying to find it to show it to you. No, but now it'll bug her if she can't find it. Get the sheepskin clean up. But, and, and you know what, Tammy? I don't know if this one is, is good enough yet because I, I, I'm learning just now, especially with Wanda, that people hold it differently than I assumed they would hold it. So. Yeah, shape. So here's the palm placer. Cool. How about I know how to use one? No, not like that. No. That's weird. No. It's not a. It's not a pen. It's a palm placer. Uh, don't look at me like that. But look how, look how Wanda holds hers. Look at this right here. This is like an overgrip kind of thing. See this? Who's that? That's Wanda. Oh. But it's longer. Well, no, that's how she holds hers. Oh. Everybody may hold it differently. So this is Amelia's. And we'll have to ask Amelia, is this what you're looking for? Okay. If not, we'll get another blank and fashion it differently. So some of the things we have to ask when we're doing a palm placer is, how do you hold it? I know. I do turn them all the same. They all go roundy, roundy, and I carve them. So could you guys see the little how the houses? Held it up. I know, but can they actually see the house? I don't know. No, no the yeah. camera's not too dark in here. No, the camera. You're dropping my glitter, man. I can't see. Can't see. Can't see that either. From there that I'm seeing. That's the dragon spit. I showed it already. <laughs> That's just glitter. <laughs> That's what it is. What do you think it was? I don't know. I'm glad it's not I'm glad it's not those little balls. No, it's just regular glitter. Cool. Yeah, that's gonna go in with he wants to see these, but I don't know if you can, you can take it out. <laughs> Tim's going to take out the little dragons. That might be better. There they are. So then this will go with that. In there, with the clear and the other. Clear and the, what is that called? Yeah. What is that? No, the, the 
silver stuff we put in the clear stuff. Starlight. Starlight. Why I couldn't remember Starlight, don't ask. But those are my You make it up. Yeah, you do. And that's as accurate as a guess. It's an accurate as a guess. You you choose the colors you want. That's the house you are. Carrie did the quiz for me. I'm a Ravenclaw, apparently. Tammy, you are whatever color house you like. That's what you do. There you go. Just farting around right now. Oh, it's only seven patrols. Yeah. So right now we're just farting around. We're just wandering around, opening mail. Okay, okay. Mail call. Let's see. All right, YouTube's people, we're out there. Carrie's just on doing some stuff. I have there's a guy down in Texas that's now 3D printing with a resin printer. I'm going to learn how he's doing this. These uh, dolphins, these are these are what you wear on your chest when you're qualified in submarines. And then this is the thing that goes below this to tell you how many deterrent patrols you had. And I've had uh, five, six, seven. He's actually missing a star. I had eight. So I have him have to send me a star. But that goes on your chest. And then this was my rating. I was a missile technician. And then this is just a cool divider I got. Helped me do some parallel stuff. I was drawing around. Need to get some parallel lines. Didn't know it was so stinking big. All right, who's next? Okay, so this one here, babes. I need another Shea by the Sea blank. Oh, my God. I need another Shea by the Sea blank. I ate it. You ate it? Don't give me that. <laughs> the reason I give you doesn't make the need any less. I need a Band-Aid. Why? Because I'm bleeding. Does it matter? <laughs> She's so funny. God. 
Okay. We got to cut the purple off of this thing here. This is going to be five and a quarter. Over at the band saw now, nothing exciting going on. Five and a quarter. This is the blank we're playing with right now. She wanted most of the purple taken off. We wanted mostly the yellow. So I have a little tinge of that purple in the pen when she's done. But uh, Bill Durr blank, full of glitter, good stuff. What you looking for? Uh, there's no mega hurry. I will just need it eventually. Look what I found. What'd you find? Oh, is that that same blank? Mm -hmm. Doesn't look as cool as the other one. We'll have to see what's no, hidden inside it. Terry so. found one of those blanks that uh, had the screamer on it last night. All those colors. I did have it in my bucket. I'm trying to find my bag. In the house. Yeah, it'll take you a while to get situated out here. Okay, are we on the lathe? No, let's get moved to the lathe. Okay, let me get this here, go back to the... Yep, going back to the buffer on this one, make it bigger. And then we'll go back to the lathe. There we go. All right, nice and tight. Don't have to make it uh, round. Okay, this one's going to be... What is this one, Care? What am I doing? Oh, I'm getting this other one here. Cut off the purple end. Okay, here's the instructions. All right. Cut off purple end, leaf green, rounded end, 0.57. Hey, how's what's the design on this one? This Melissa, Melinda one here. The uh, green one. What's the design? Uh, has to be five and a quarter. I got that. A design in the middle. She didn't say. Artist choice? I believe so, yes. Ooh, scary. Let me, let me double check my phone. Hold on. Let me get these scared. Hang on. You're a Gryffindor. I hope you like maroon. You got it made then. Or purple and dark yellow. <laughs> I know. Learn it. That's right. That's what you are. Taking the test. Let's see, we're going to go back to the mixing table here to she clears me. Oh, I'm getting five more, too. See, she sent me this. No, they're all different, though. Yeah. 
I'm not I'm not worried about the can the hand the pen. I know that. Yeah. I just you know it popped up first. Okay, oh, it's let me get rid of these headphones here real quick. Power off. Ooh, getting hot in here in the garage. Next. Let me get Discord moved over to. And I'm ready to talk. Talk. It says round and got that. Please, other than that, let Tim's creative juices flow and have a happy Easter. Okay, write artist choice on there so I know. You're doing it. No, but I'm saying for the order form, without having to ask you again, you write artist choice. That way, I know what to do. No problem. I was trying to do it fast before you were doing her other thing. That's okay. So I'm like, you got oh. you covered. Shoot the messenger. Shoot the messenger. So who is this for? Um, it's for right there. What happened to this? Too thin. Because I measured it. Or no, it wasn't that one. It's a different one. Someone else got it. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, I'll figure it out. Let's see. I'm looking for... Where did the butterfly cut off go? Do you want this one or do you want me to... Because I have somebody interested in it. Do you want me to sell it? You can sell it if you want because we're getting five more. So that's cool. Take care of the customer first. I am last. I am making a cover minder that we're going to raffle off. This was the end of that uh, butterfly green thing that Bill made and we cut off and it's got these two cute little dragonflies sticking off the end. Is that too cool or what? Probably hard to see. It could be. But we just cut this end off and I go, that'll be a cool little cover minder. I'm going to put this on your desk because this is your area. Fantastic. What's this called? Dragon, Dragon. Dragon. Dragon Spit is what I'm calling it. Dragon bit. What is it? Ah. Which one? I Yeah, we no. Did we make those? Oh, we made that one? Yeah. Dragon spit. There is a cover minder right there. Comes with magnets and everything. Look at that. I can make cover miners all day long. They're fun.
All right. I want to see what this uh, dragon spit looks like. I'm going to hold up a piece of this parchment. I just want to see what the color looks like. Now that we got all the pieces, we can plan to pour them this week. Because we have eight orders now. Yep. Oh, you need the dragons. No, I don't need the dragons. That's pretty cool. Man, there's some tiny stuff in there. There's what dragon spit looks like. And the more you put it in different angles, you get different colors. Gold, green. Red. There's red. red. Red, very, uh, what do they call that? Dichroic. Kind of like opal. Isn't that cool? And that will go with the little dragon, little black dragons around it. And this is enough glitter for about 30 years. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't think you'll use a lot of that. I don't think it'll need a lot. Just, just a nice, light dusting all the way through it. Oh, very light dusting, especially since yeah, very light. You want a, a light and you want to be able to get a little bit, but you don't want that. Okay, Carrie, you're echoing. Is that me? Yeah, she needs to turn her thing off. Oh. I'm blind on him. Going to stay in. Well, here's your oh, I just like going to this so I am so Okay. Let me come over here. Stream yard. The Word is going to be pound cover. What are you giving away? Pound cover. How do I add this in here? Oh, the cover binder. Where did it hit it? Hang on, I got to figure this out here. Right now. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to share. Uh, present. Here we go. Slides. Nope, don't want to slides. I want to present a share screen. And I'm going to do this one right here. Share. All right. We have shared that. So pound cover is the way to go. So pound, if you're in YouTube, you got to be in YouTube for this to work. Pound cover, if you want to win this cute little butterfly cover binder. Pound cover. Pound cover. You can see the word right on the screen. Because you're not, you're, it's your computer. No. You can just go here. And let's see, yeah, turn off microphone. I did. Turn it off. Let's turn it on. Now turn it off. Turn the speaker off. Where? Where's your speaker? Get rid of these little things here. But what is it? I don't know what it is. Bunch of junk. Go to right there. Deafen. Now, no echo. Oh, yay. But you have to have a microphone on to talk like one of these. Okay, that's fine. I'm not talking. Okay. Pound cover. Pound cover. Right now we got 10 entries. We've got 18 people on the YouTube. Pound cover. Pound cover, everybody. And it is for, let me show you again, this very cute little, it's actually a cutoff from a Bill Durr blank. I figure, why waste it? It's so cute with a couple of dragonflies coming in and out of it. And I just put a couple of magnets on the back of it. So you've got the magnet to be your cover minder. It's pretty cute. Couldn't let that one go to waste. That's pretty cool. Are you only giving away one thing today? I don't know. What else you want to give away? How many people you got in there? Oh, there's uh, 17 on the YouTubes. Let me see how many entries we have. We have 11. Pound cover, everybody. Pound cover. Pound cover. We only have 11 entries. We've got 18 people in the YouTubes. 
So pound cover, pound cover, pound cover. Looks like we got about 11 so far, still 11, still 11. Pound cover for whoever's in YouTube. Could have some lurkers or just not right there right now. We'll wait a little bit in case they have to put their whip down and come in here and pound cover. We got 12 now. Grinchville came in there and saved the day, got us off that uneven number. Pound <laughs> cover. Not that it matters, right? <laughs> <laughs> just being silly. Pound I'm cover. Yeah, pound cover. Pound cover, pound cover, everybody. Got 17 people in the YouTubes, and we're giving a giveaway for this little cover minded. We got 12 entries. I'm going to count to, let's see, we'll do a, I don't know if I can do that counter while we're live. No, we won't do that because I might kick us off. I don't want to do that. All right, pound cover. Here we go. We're going to draw an entry, and here we go. You'll see it right on screen. There we go. I see everybody's name and face going through. Cindy Bennett. Cindy Bennett wins the Dragonfly Cover Minder. Congratulations, Cindy. That's so fun. Wow, thank you. Yep, you know, thank you. Glad you're being here. Uh, I saw everybody's yeah. face and name rolling by, so it looked pretty fair. I guess they got a little clicker in there to make it all computerized. But uh, yeah. congratulations, Cindy, on your cover minder. Oh. And Carrie's got a pen she wants to give away. All right. So a little bit about this pen. This is from a blank from Dank Blanks. It is all neon colors. It's six inches long, oh. though. Um, but it just needs a little polished up a little bit. But what's it called? Um Dank? Neon. No, this is called Is it a Dank Blank? Yes. We'll call it Dank. D-A-N-K will no, be the Neon. Cheer. To it neon. People can't spell neon. Oh. It's too many letters. N E O N. -E oh, stop it now. So here's the pen. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It is a, let me tell you what the finger grips are because, uh, by the way, if you're outside of the U.S., we will pay $15 of the shipping. So if you want to uh, buy more, it's a 0. .52 and a 0. .52. It's a 0. 0.52 pen. It is, I believe, six inches long. Yep, it's six inches long. It's got a very nice satin finish, our typical finish. Got this little sort of an undercut kind of thing here in the middle. It comes from a dank blank. I held it for a few minutes. It's very comfortable. Because that little part right 0. 0.52, rounded pointy ends, rounded pointy ends. I hope everybody can see that. So pound neon, if you are interested in this pen. Pound neon. Let me go. I got to start collecting. Hang on. Don't do pound neon yet. Don't do pound neon yet. See what I know. Oh, we are starting to collect. So go ahead and do pound neon. Am I allowed to win again? Nope. It's going to exclude you. Okay. Then yeah. I won't bother. <laughs> That's right. Only one per day. Make it all fun. Yeah, we usually. Yeah. Once you I win. Don't wanna, I don't want to be greedy. But yeah, once you win, it's like 30 days. You can't win. Sorry, Cindy. No problem. I'm just shocked I won. Yeah, there you go. Pound neon. Pound neon. Pound neon. You got eight entries so far. Pound neon. We've got 20 people in here now. Boy, they must have heard about the giveaway. Now they're all running in. Pound neon, everybody. Pound neon for this very cool neon pen right here. I'll show it again. It's got yellow, purple, green, orange. You got a mic? No. Nobody can hear you. Okay, well, you say it then. It's got stuff, a bunch of colors. Oh, give me. Oh, you can see them. Oh, my gosh. Here, I'm getting the mic. I'm getting the mic. Tell them to wait. If you can't see those colors, you don't need to be diamond painting. Just wait long. There you go. Okay, there we go. It has um, neon orange, neon pink, neon blue, neon green, neon purple, um, neon yellow, if I didn't say that already, and it swirled through a clear base. So we have ordered all these colors, so I thought this was a good giveaway. 
to whet your appetite for neon. Good. Spill into the grills. Saw her accident. She now spilled neon. See, I told you it's a hard word. Well, thanks. Not any <laughs> easier than that. Uh, Come on. We got 13. Got I know 13 there's more. 13 out of 17 viewers. That's actually a pretty good hit because people are probably walked away or going to the bathroom or getting a drink and or something like that. And then you'll be bummed. <laughs> Dang. I didn't know she was going to do that. I do these things. We're math leopards. Is, math is hard. We are leopards. We like to give prizes. Leave the meat after I've chewed it up. Now, spilling the drill, Sarah, she's blaming it on her glasses. Oh. We're all buying that, sister. I know what fat fingers oh. are. I got 10 of them. Yeah, and he has big fingers. If you see, you'll see. Pound neon, pound neon, pound neon. 13, 13 people. Any more out else? 17 pound neon, pound neon. I want you four people. Well, one Probably. of them's Cindy, so yeah, and not so that's me. pretty good. Okay, we're gonna draw 10, 9, 8, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five three, four, two. You can't one. count. Draw. You can't count. Here we go. Look at all those names. Denise, Denise wins the pen. Woo! Wow. Congratulations. Yay, Denise. Congratulations, Denise. I hope you like a 0.52 because I think you like a whole lot fatter than that. But I think if it's a free pen, she would like it anyway to change out. Yep, maybe. I talk to her all the time. so That'll make the pen fit better. You talking to her all the time. Yes. Good. good. Look at her. Look how happy she is to be winning. Look at that face. <laughs> all right everybody that is the end of our stream today we got to put it down i got to do some pre-work then i got to work then i'll be up all night probably go to bed about five or six in the morning hopefully might be able to see you tomorrow afternoon if i've got uh, some if we go to bed in a decent time there's one time we went to bed at one o'clock in the afternoon from seven o'clock the night before and wow. i did no live that day i went to bed and about six hours later got up and started working again and by the way, my working wow. is not very hard. I, I manage people distantly, so it's just me on a computer watching, listening, and that kind of thing. So it's not like I'm, you know, working in a coal mine. <laughs> anyway, everybody have a good afternoon. We will close out the YouTube thing. I'll be in Discord for a few more seconds after that. Thank you for being here on <laughs> April Fool's Day. There was no foolishness here today. We're just having some serious diamond paint and fun. Everybody have a good Monday. Talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye,